This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Yo, 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 what's up? What's up? <laughs> no, it was the lack of clapping. No, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Steve, can you just lower the voices of their voice and my voice? Because <laughs> mine's is kind of loud. I don't know if y'all peep, but we fired Marv. No, I'm playing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Marv is over. Dude. He got sent to the shadow realm, bro. <laughs> he went to Marv's room. No, that was a good joke. It would have been. No, that no, was listen, a good joke, bro. It that was good. Been. It could have been. Yeah. I you mean. had to do the song after. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys are good on volume yeah, for good. mics? Yeah. Everybody's good? So. Yeah. Everybody's good? All right, so let's do the show. What's going on, everybody? This is That One Piece Talk. My name is Larry. Lawrence. Lionel. Sam. And this is That One Piece Talk, <laughs> where we talk One Piece. And I just want to say... Thank you to everybody joining us in the chat already. I started to notice some of the familiar names in the chat, and I love seeing those names in chat. So thank you, thank you. Arigato. Marv isn't in the building. Instead, we have Steve, and Steve is also just as good as Marv. So no offense to Marv, but <laughs> Steve, we in here, boy. Anyway, I just wanted to say this is episode 54, guys. Like, 54. Uh, just to give you guys a heads up, um, we did have, like, the anniversary because we started in July of last year, oh, I believe, yeah. or yeah, June. Right, yeah. And June? we, yeah, and I think this is the episode that we made a full round. This episode? I think so, yeah. Oh, wow. I think it was this episode or probably last episode or 52. It was one of the. Did we made a full year? We made a full year of having the podcast. Oh, wow. so how we not do nothing? I didn't know if we could. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get what I'm saying, right? Yeah, so I was like, yo, that's I don't different. know. That's that's different. Yeah, okay, okay, different. it's different. Yeah. You got to let me know. So I was like, yo, <laughs> Did we miss any weeks? It might have been 51. No, no, we missed like two weeks, two or three weeks because of COVID. Because of COVID? COVID, and then we caught COVID right. or something like that. Because it's Lawrence. So then it's this one. What? <laughs> this that's is the him. No. Be. No, if, it, if, if, if we let, miss two, it's 52 weeks in a year. Okay. This is the one. I think this might be the one. Yeah. Yeah. This is why I said it. Might have been 52, <laughs> yeah. 50 or 54. All right. Anyway, happy anniversary to us. Yeah. Hey. Congrats. Hey. One year nice. podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> one year. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, I just want to give announcements to, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but today is the Hidden Island's birthday. So I want everybody that hasn't actually said it to him to go say it to him because he Shows a lot of love to our channel and also a lot of love to all of us. So he does a lot for One Piece. So show him some love. Also, Par Vision. You already know Par. <laughs> One Piece Madness. Um, the guy has been invited to uh, the Reverie for YouTube One Piece content creators. I don't know if you two knew that. Absolutely amazing. You bro. know, that's so wild. You remember Par? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm Par. Like, yeah, I remember like, you guys had no reaction <laughs> to this. I was letting you talk because I thought uh, you were going to explain something. Bro. Lawrence was like, I was letting him talk. No, I no, nothing. I didn't. Well, Lawrence was hating. Lawrence was hating. <laughs> he was hating. I was I'm a chosen patient. Patient. <laughs> I'm a It should have been me. I had the high ground. <laughs> yeah. Well, Par Vision got accepted or invited to it. So I just want to say a huge, 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 like, celebratory, like, clap of hands for Par because he has proven through hard work. And through like whatever else he goes through in his personal that you can automatically come out successful and be the person to join like the higher status of one piece content creators which his channel is now blowing up because he's you know marketing himself in a correct way so i would say for anybody that's looking for guidance just look at the example that's within the community and you'll notice like par is leading that right now for people around his range so i just want to say yo Par, man. Can't wait to see you on the Reverie 1. And I'm pretty sure we got a, a we, ch super chat from him. What do you say? We got a $10.54 super chat from Par Vision. It says, <laughs> happy anniversary to that One Piece talk. Best 
place to talk One Piece. And happy birthday to the Hidden Island. I have to echo those sentiments. Happy birthday to Hidden. Yeah. And like everything Larry just said, I want to extrapolate that a thousand for par. He does so much. He's on every channel you go to. Mm. You'll see him. And he j- he doesn't stop. Yeah. He doesn't stop. We, I talked to him about One Piece till like four in the morning one time. Yeah, I was there. He was there. So, like, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> he just completely it's forgot crazy. I was there. It's crazy, man. Because we'll just be him talking. You still in the background. Yo. <laughs> Playing I was, Twitch. I was. <laughs> Larry was like, well, hey, Wallen. Yeah. He's like just shooting people. Yeah, I was just like, yo, this is Wallen right now. But also, um, we have been on, I have been on Twitch a lot lately just to provide extra content for people that want to talk One Piece but also watch us game. So... I haven't really brought it up to Lauren. I think I brought it up to Lawrence, but I didn't bring it up to Lionel yet. Since I got a computer for us to do these extracurricular activities, um, I, we're probably going to start doing like episode reactions since most of us don't watch the One Piece anime. Mm-hmm. And I think that's going to provide some extra like um, likings for the channel because a lot of people have been asking for that too. So we're going to do that. Yeah. But... It, it should be fun if you guys are down. Are you still watching the anime or are you nah. watching? Where do you want to start from? from? Bro, we might have to start from like like Whole Cake Island because that's where I left Chill. off. And that's going to be kind of hard. Okay. And then I got to catch up then. Yeah. Oh, man. We got more uh, Super Chats. <laughs> All right, go. Right here. Yeah, yeah, I didn't hear Super Chats. Uh, we Super got Chats. a $7.99 Super Chat from Sh- Shandy Wandy. Shandy, thank you so much. <laughs> he says, happy anniversary, boys. Killing it. Much love, Australia gang. Hey. Australia gang. gang yo. We in Australia. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I heard Australia was like fake. Listen. Wait, what? <laughs> I heard Australia Listen, was fake. The animals that they produce are different from anywhere else in the world. It's so like, like Pokemon, like, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a different world over there. Hopefully, I, I'm pretty sure you didn't mean to super chat twice, but if you did, probably try to refund the last one. Just because I know you did the same message for both. So just in case, because we're not trying to steal your money. But other than that, yeah, man, episode 54, um, we don't have much to go over. We're going to do the sponsorship later, Steve, when we want like a break through, through the hour. But for now, I guess let's just start taking calls. So if you want to throw that number up, Steve, and then uh, pin it. And then everybody, throw your questions at us. Also, if you haven't liked the the stream, please like it. <laughs> If you haven't uh, commented, please comment. We'd like to hear from you. Also, um, if you're listening to this on Spotify, I hope you're enjoying yourselves. So if you guys want to b- buy merch and stuff, you can buy merch on our store at our website, thatonepiecetalk.com slash merch. If you haven't uh, subscribed to us through YouTube, you can become a member. And um, if you want to join us on Twitch, too, you can do that. But other than that, let's do it. Uh, this is that One Piece talk. This is Larry speaking. Who are you and how are you? Hey, what's up, fellas? It's Aaron Tate. Aaron Tate. Hey, Aaron Tate. Hey, hey, Aaron, Tate. Hey, Aaron Tate. What's up, man? Wouldn't be an anniversary yeah. without yeah. Aaron Tate. Yeah, yeah wouldn't, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Happy to be call in. What's up, man? Um, so my question for you guys today is, which of the original four emperors uh, do you feel has had the better showing of strength? Or the best showing of strength. That is so easy, bro, for me. It's White Bear. Easily. White Bear was on his deathbed. Deathbed. And he still performed better to me against bigger odds than like Big Mom and Kaido. Like Big Mom and Kaido teamed up with their crews. You know what I'm saying? Besides Big Mom's crew. With their crews. And faced an alliance that was beaten and battered for years. Mm-hmm. And they still came out on, they still lost. You know what I'm saying? Where Whitebeard was like, all right, I just got my crew. And like, I'm near death. And like, I got to face the Marines plus three admirals. Plus mm-hmm. Sengoku. Plus mm-hmm. Garp. It, and, and like, I still, <laughs> I still almost took him out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, Whitebeard by far. <laughs> by far. And it's crazy I say that because... It shouldn't be that way. Because as I think in my mind, Kaido over Whitebeard. But crew-wise, I, again, it, it all comes down to writing. So is the question about the crew or the Yonko themselves? The Yonko. The, so like the yeah, Yonko, the Yonko crew or the person, the captain? The person themselves. Okay. I, you start, I'll start arguing to me and you. <laughs> I'm, I'm going with Kaido. This is so I'm going, dumb. I'm Why? going with Kaido. Yo, maybe it's recency bias, but like, if we're talking about when we saw them as Yonko, 
everything you just said about Whitebeard, yes, it's true. But like he was still old and dying, and like, like he ended up being a hindrance to his team at points in time. You know what I mean? Like he took knees, like he distracted his like that happened. Let me let me ask you with this Kaido. On, it was like on. yo, my team is just trash right now, and they let twos pull up on hold me, on. and I'm dealing with it anyway. So let me ask you this: Do you think the government would have invaded Wano if it was easier to access while Kaido was there? Uh, run that back. My bad. I had to pin this message. Um, Do you think the world government would have invaded Wano while Kaido was there if it didn't have that weird difficulty amount of like of no, like you know what I'm saying they, to enter, to enter into it? it? No, yeah. because Akainu said multiple times about how like the forces of Wano was what he feared. It wasn't like oh it's hard to get here. It was like yo the unknown of what's there plus Kaido. It's like yo no we're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? And that's Akainu. Like a kainu of all people, bro. What I will say is that Whitebeard was out here dying, and they still didn't go after him. You know what I'm saying? Yo, they like, not, and he don't got no island this, that's this, unknown or anything. There's a lot of politics that go in that. It's about the balance of power. They would rather the, the Yanko reign than they get taken out in the way that they have. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, yo. I'm just saying, from from showing to showing, Kaido was beating down everybody. Like, look at what it took. Look how many power ups it took for Luffy to get there. Like. And we still was like, yo, I don't think he got it. Yes, but hockey is more fleshed over now. Yo, People with awakenings are more fleshed over now that. than they were I before. I understand that. And that's, that's always And Kaido gonna... is prime. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. But I'm talking about what we saw as Yako. He said showings. Not like, like, I obviously think Whitebeard's stronger than Kaido is. But prime Whitebeard is stronger than Kaido to me still. I'm talking about the Yako that we saw. What y'all, what y'all think? Uh, hold on, hold on. Before you two answer, I want to know Aaron's answer. Yeah. What do you think, Aaron? So I'm gonna go with white beard as well. Okay. Because um, he's a cause sensible me, I, person. <laughs> so for me, I feel like with, when it comes to obviously Shanks, but you know, uh, Kaido and Big Mom, I feel like there's still so much to be desired. Like even even with this fight against Luffy, I, people were still speculating that Kaido still had another level. We don't even know if he awakened or not. Um, but I feel like with white beard, with what we saw at Marineford. Like Whitebeard laid it all out on the line. He and he took almost everybody with him. Just the the amount of destruction and chaos that he that he caused, being on his deathbed. Um, yes, you know Kaido. He, he I think a lot of the feats that he sh that he has shown has been just his ability to take a certain level of damage. Like he probably has taken more damage than anybody in the series. But as far as seeing how destructive his strength truly is, I feel like we got played on that. You know what I mean? Like, but with, with white bear, he, he literally leveled an entire Island just by just shifting the air. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like white bear has given us what we deserved to see from emperor level characters in one piece. And we still have yet to get that from Kaido or big mom. And then obviously Shanks, that's just my opinion. So I feel like when it comes to the better showing from Emperors, I feel like White Bear gave us all that we needed. Mm -hmm. I, I I could kind of agree. Before we before we get into yours again, read this. Uh, yeah, we did get a, a a member, I think. Yeah, someone yeah. someone get a member. Yeah, Nakama. and then we'll let you two go so you can earn. Uh, yeah, we got a time. three month membership from Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. Hey, <laughs> it says you. happy anniversary, y'all. Hope y'all keep killing it for a long time to come. Larry killing it on the Hearthstone though. Hearthstone. Hearthstone too. What is yeah, that? it's like that a it's like a card game for like Blizzard. It's like Yu Gi Oh. Oh, okay. Anything yeah, else? Fault. I don't know. Before they go. Uh, you no, should, it's not. You that. Right. Should you pin the message? I pinned the 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 number. The call number. Uh, Lawrence, go. Thank you, Par. By the way. Okay. <clears throat> this is what I was gonna say uh, argument. Uh, because you know me, two shots. Right. I'm not saying I'm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So just like a, a two shots, right? I've been saying right now, Whitebeard did two shot Alki um Akino, mm -hmm. right? And Amro. Like I've been saying that for the longest. He two didn't shots. take him out though, Lawrence. I know. Yeah, I know. He was okay. But he Amro. ended the fight in two shots. Akino mm -hmm. was fighting with it five minutes later, but whatever. Is Kaido doing that? Ending Akino in two shots. He couldn't even end Kenny Moan, bro. But <laughs> but what I'm gonna say is though, because I wasn't choosing Whitebeard. Okay. Honestly, since you guys, I'm gonna choose something different. I'm gonna choose Shanks, and I'm gonna back it up by saying this, right? Not only does Shanks has no ability, right? He's ruling 
as a Yonko with just his hockey, right? But he also has using one arm, right? And the arm that he lost was his favorite arm. So he's contending with the best, rehabbing to learn the sword with his weaker arm or less dominant arm. So it's like, you're a righty, that right arm is gone, you have to use your left arm to com- compete. And he's doing that at Yonko level, right? And enough to, like, before I always said to Sebastian, like, I always ask this question. During the war, right, when before, right before, I mean, we have Kaido going to meet Whitebeard, right? Who intervenes? Shanks. Now, honestly, do you guys see that going where, like, Shanks is like, yo, Kaido, chill out. Kaido, chill out, you know? It really depends, bro. Like, well, if we're speculating, no, I know. he could have said That's something true. that could have just benefited Kaido in the long run. was like, all right, I'd rather do that. Yeah, then. that may you be true. And that may be true. But I'm thinking, like, for example, a lot of times as the people's pirate crews, right, they represent how the captain is, right? To me, when I saw Jack, right, on um, Mink Island, not taking no for an answer, you couldn't tell. Jack seemed like the cruelest person on the world. Right, because the mink are like begging it. We don't know who you're talking about, and he's just like, "Nah, I'm here fighting five days, killing everybody." Right, like you couldn't tell him nothing. You trying to tell me that's not the representation of how Kaido would be? Like if he knows or wants to do something, so, you're not so, gonna be able to reason with him to stop. So my rebuttal is to you is that if Kaido's goal is to have the greatest war ever, yeah, in mankind, Shanks could have said something to him to convince him that this is not going to lead to that which would then alter Kaido's perception of what's happening now, and then he'd be like, all right, bet, I'll come back later. Like, that could have happened because they both walked away unscathed. Yeah, no, that is true. You know what I'm saying? But I know, I get that. To me, it's just I don't see Kaido being talked down, especially, like, if he really wants to fight White, because we saw him later on crying about it. He I jumped mean, off the edge again, of the world. Yo, bro, again. So, no. so what do you think Shanks did? Right. So what do you think Shanks so, did? So to me, right, it could have been like he brought him alcohol, but I think that because what we know of Yonkos, I always say that Yonkos, when they meet, for some reason, they clash. We saw Shanks and Whitebeard meet, and this was all friendly terms. They clashed, at least for a little bit. We saw Whitebeard and Big Mom, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Kaido and Big Mom meet. They clashed, right? Every time we see the top, and, uh, for example, even Gold Roger and Whitebeard, they not weren't Yonkos, but they were the two top at the time, you know? They were clashing. Pirates, really? when you meet up, you fight. Yeah, man. Buggy and Luffy clash too, for real. Uh huh. Yonko stuff. Okay, shit. Don't. <laughs> Buggy's not a Yonko. Anyway. You almost made Lawrence curse. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, was, one thing is, but that's what pirates. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's what pirates do. So I don't believe that they didn't at least exchange blades or uh, bows for a little bit. And it could have been like they talked down for a little bit. But either way, for Kaido to stop, he has to release respect you. Or view you as his uh, his level, or he, if he viewed Shanks as anything beneath him, and Shanks wasn't able to clash with him, Kaido's not gonna listen to Shanks. Yo, bro, I'm gonna be real with you. You ain't proven enough yeah. evidence no, to I know. make me feel like know. Shanks has a better showing than every other. No, I know. So far, this is what I'm getting at, right? But we see, right, that at the very least, he's on their level with so much at a disadvantage, right? We always talk about like Zoro has a disadvantage when he fights. This dude has no ability among. For example, Kaido has almost all the advantages in the freaking world. Greater species, Zohan ability, my, and all that. It was that. my choice. Yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah. He has someone with... And you talked about even a Gold Roger. They said Gold Roger ruled with Justice Hockey. Yeah. Shanks is with them, younger than all of them, right? Younger than all of them, ruling with Justice Hockey with one arm, right? And guess what? The thing is, we haven't even seen him fight yet. All right, so one, I'm a big advocate of Shanks. Overall, mm-hmm. I hype him to the fullest. Yeah. But, bro, I've seen a starfish by the name of Papagoo oh. will himself to talk. So <laughs> it's <laughs> not hard for Shanks to will himself to be right-handed if he's left-handed. Yeah, no, I understand that. But you know to, what I'm saying? But, yeah, but to, at this level, to compete with Yonkos? Yes, yes. No. Yes. No, I'm thinking it's not an easy feat that anybody can do. That's what I'm trying to say is, right? I get you. But it's not... When, when I think of showings... I'm thinking of the overall Yonko himself and what he can do right. versus what others have not been able to do. And granted, they're going to have advantages over one of the other, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it's like, okay, so what do you do with those advantages? Mm-hmm. Right. It's like, he. the question says showing. Yeah. yeah. Shanks hasn't shown us a damn thing. No, he's, you know oh, no, he's shown us something. He's he's shown us, but us, you just knock it. He showed and then you'd be like, yo, Marco showed a lot. No, you know what I'm saying? No. Mark White showed not. All right, no. but anyway, let, hold on, hold on. Well, let Lionel go. Are you done? And then, obviously, he should also show with his conquerors, right? Again, we always talk about a feat that we haven't seen any of the Yonko able to do. To maintain 
your conqueror's level. I mean, your conqueror's burst throughout while you're walking. Like maintain it throughout minutes. I, I feel right? like y'all hype that as a thing. It's not that crazy. It is. We crazy. haven't seen one person do it yet. Didn't Dolphamigo do it? No. no. He was Everyone walking did... through the, uh, the, no. the dudes and they was getting knocked Heavenly out. Heavenly string, bro. He was yeah. awakened. No, 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 no. Yes. I'm talking about Punk Hazard. When he went there, he started walking and knocking people out as he was walking. No. No, Am I no, wrong? No, uh, he just, no. no, he just came when, there. When he, showed up, when he showed up to Punk Hazard, he, he landed and he did that little little pose and then that's when everybody got knocked yeah. out. Yeah. But he didn't. He wasn't doing it as he was walking. Yeah, yeah like Shanks mm-hmm. was. Yeah. I still don't think it's that crazy. No. Because you don't, you don't make sense most of the time. Yeah, yo, you don't, yo, know, he you don't know anything about shit, One Piece, bro. bro. He damages the shit. No, it was like, not, not about shit. About, it's not about just damaging your shit. It's more like Sh- most people. Shanks has feet. Yo, can That's we, not can, one of them. Can we let Lionel go? <laughs> Lawrence, are you done? Uh, yeah, I was going to say, like, for example, I'm just saying he's doing not similar what Gold Roger did, but Gold Roger was ruling, right, amongst people with abilities and all this stuff. Shanks is doing something similar. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Aaron really so, got us so, saying three different answers. That's so funny. I love how none of them are big mom. Before Lionel goes, uh, Lawrence, I think what you're so the question is the best showing, but I think what you're arguing with Shanks is purely speculation. I think because of we because we have these tidbits of what Shanks has been talked about doing as far as stopping Kaido from getting to the war and then the little skirmish that he's had with Whitebeard, you're using that to uh conflate what we think Shanks can do with what he has actually shown us to be able to do. Does that make sense? No, it does. It does. I'm not going to say it's wrong. I'm just saying that he's also doing it with, we've seen the minimum of him, but they're showing him on this level with them, and he's the youngest with more disadvantage. Yeah. So I take that I mean, into credit I, as well. I agree with that. I, to be honest, I mean, it, it, an, an argument could be made that Shanks might be the top, like, top two at the very least. I So from that standpoint, I agree with everything that you're saying. I think from, but from this standpoint, we're just talking about <clears throat> What they have shown up to this point, who has been more impressive? And I think for us, or at least for me and Larry, it's been it's been Whitebeard. You know, for Seb, it's been Kaido. Yeah. For Lionel, it's been who? That's a really good question. I was actually thinking over how to go by everybody else's answers, and I was mostly going by like, and each one kind of showed something. Like Whitebeard, I was I'm gonna agree, say with agree with Larry and Sebastian only as in Whitebeard because two things: his flashback with Roger and is um, what we've seen recently. Like, we've seen that Whitebeard fought Roger and he leased his kingdom position and did that attack and he clashed with a big giant clash. We saw that Whitebeard was really weak and that the most amount of hockey that he could have been showing, especially with Clash with Roger, wasn't really there. And he still, I'm going to say, now he didn't beat Akino, but ha- Akino got heavily affected. And that was mostly some of his hockey or regular hockey, but that wasn't cl- with King, advanced kingdom position. That wasn't with... We don't even know if it was advanced Boshoku hockey. It was mostly some of his hockey, obviously, because he hurt a kind of and ability alone, and he did that much damage. In a way, you think about Big Mom and Kaino, they kept on showing more and more of their abilities throughout the fight, and it kept on seeming like, yo, there's something new going to be brought out. Like, in a way, they were holding back throughout their fight. But Whitebeard, literally, I'm not holding back. I'm limited because of my old age and sickness, and I'm still able to do this much. And that's what it shows. Like, all right, it was cool that we see Big Mom and Kaino, like, Kaino, um, oh, he's... Um, pretty much learning future sight. He's getting bigger and his attacks are getting stronger. Like Big Mom, she's ripping out new techniques. But the only thing that knocks it is who they fought. Whitebeard is known for Clash with Roger and um, Clash with Roger and drawing, to Ro- drawing with Roger. And we have, you now we see him at the high stage fighting the um, the Admirals who are supposed to be the three great powers and he takes one of them out to a degree. Like, he ends the fight. We didn't see that with Kaido and Big Mom. And that's what, oh, that is always, you know, like, again, we didn't see that with Kyle Big Mom. You know, it was impressive as, you know, what they did and what they were showing that, but who they lose to? They didn't lose to an admiral. So who'd you pick? I said, I, said I pick I said oh, Whitebeard. Beard. Yeah. Yeah. I think Chad like, went, went mostly Whitebeard, too. It was yeah. like Whitebeard, Kaido. Right. Yeah. Not a single vote for Big Mom, by the way. I just want y'all to know that. <laughs> no, 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 just because you don't like strong women, nah. you don't always have to bring nah. it up. Really. <laughs> nah, right? y'all, y'all come at me when I be like, "Yo, Big Mom not on this level," but apparently everybody, including y'all, but that's not the agree question. But that's, but that's not the hold question. On, hold on. That's, that's, not the question. that's not the question. Yeah. One and two, like I've said, Oda was inconsistent with Big Mom in comparison to even every other Yonko. He didn't give her the 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 consistency that she needed. She wasn't even using... Uh, I'm not getting into it, bro. Because <laughs> he's going to start pissing me but off. But no, her taking ability was impressive, though. She took a lot. Like, honestly, her taking ability was more impressive than his Zohan's. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I but, think, like I said, I think with Kaido and Big Mom, I think their tanking ability is, his ability has been the most impressive about their strength. But as far as the the amount of damage that they can inflict, I think, like I said, there there's a lot to be desired. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think we got to take another call, but I want to say one last thing. Oh my god! If Kaido was at that war, he putting in more work than White Pierce. Does he? Yeah. Does he? Yeah. Or does he I just let? So. Hold on, hold on. 100%. Or, no, 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 no. Or does he 100%. just get? Or, or does he just get magma fisted because he doesn't want to dodge? He good. He be all right. <laughs> so that, this is right. what I'm talking about. Like right. Kaido has literally shown he'll get hit by anything because he just doesn't care. But if a Kainu hits him in a face and takes his face off because he just feels like he doesn't want to use Future Sight. But all you, honestly, all you do is reword it. All right, you've asked Sebastian. This you is what I'm that? talking about. This is advantages that he has that he doesn't use. How is that a great showing? But yo, I think Messi mostly yeah. might be. Wipe it on his deathbed, bro. But it matters who it is. Larry, I think it might be like, matters who it is. Because if he, if yeah, right, let's move past the question, bro. <laughs> <laughs> let's move past yeah, the question. Yeah, you can't be frustrated, take, bro. We gotta take another call. Yo, Aaron, thank you so much, man. I appreciate <laughs> you so greatly. Sensitive, I'm not, bro. You just sound so. You just sound so <laughs> aggravating, bro. You frustrate me. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. All right. Everybody call up next. Oh, we got a super chat. We did get a super chat. Um, Ace of the Aces? Yeah, we got a super chat from Ace of the Aces. $5. It says, Shanks is handicapped and still pulling massive feats. Kaido was hyped too much. Thank you, Ace of Aces. Yeah, appreciate that. What feats are we talking? Yeah. Are we talking like the... the I don't even think Kaido was hyped too much. C-King E in his arm feet or Blackbeard permanently scarring his face feet? Which feet are we talking about? <laughs> hey, what's going on? This is that One Piece talk. Larry speaking. Who are you and how are you? I love Shanks hate. Hey, what's up, boys? It's uh, it's Oz. Oz, hey, Oz. Yes. where you been, <laughs> I, bro? I'm sorry. The last the last two times I've been with my girl because we've been watching One Piece ourselves, and she's like trying to catch up. Oh man, that's, that's the dope. best. How, yeah. how far are y'all? Um, we just got into the when they're crossing the red line. They did the whole the whole foot thing. Oh, nice. And what their dream is gonna be? Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're about to, to see Zoro point. be mad racist. Uh, she loves Kanji, <laughs> so that's that's something. All women do, man. And so they don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like them in, in the series. But outside the series? No. <laughs> Yo, that, that Sanji then was amazing. After? Yeah. Get rid yeah. of him, bro. After, that's... Yeah, yeah she didn't even see Mr. Kids, Prince yeah. yet. What's your question, man? <laughs> <laughs> um... Well, first, first thing I gotta say is buggy gang all day. Yes, let's go. Oh, yes, sir. Let's go. Yes, sir. Buggy gang. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> buggy yeah. gang. Yo, hey, buggy yo, gang. yo, yo, Steve, hang out, bro. I'm not like 100 percent <laughs> sure. Buggy will get knocked hey, out on, by man. Conqueror's hockey. Listen, like, I'm almost 100 percent sure. Listen, he was at the war. He was good. Hold on, I don't know. Let, let him speak, man. Go ahead, Oz. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> all right. So, well, my question, my question to you guys is, um. Now that now that we know, like, well, I guess it's more of speculation, but now that we know that Luffy has the Sun God uh, fruit, who do you guys think has the other fruits? Oh, man. <sighs> just because, I'm only saying it just because uh, Rengoku just came out, and I'm, I'm thinking he has maybe the, the forest uh, fruit, but that's just me. Um... See, well, so what are the four gods? It's the forest, the, the rain, forest, sun, moon. The forest, earth, river, and sun god, which is Luffy. So for me, forest, I earth. think me and Sebastian actually agree with the, the, the devil fruits of like, um, it's like when you give a devil fruit to a person, they automatically become these pre-existing massive figures within the story that ultimately dictates where the story should go. And like people are passed down these fruits, right? I don't mm -hmm. I don't think I like the idea of people that are their own character consuming something else and it makes their character like fuse together and it 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 sounds like already how I'm explaining it is just too complicated and I think that it takes away from the character themselves like we're hoping that Nika doesn't take over Luffy at certain points because then it'll take away from Luffy's character and um I just feel for me like why would the celestial dragons put a devil fruit into uh, an admiral's hands of that importance where we have Aokiji who just defected. You know? Like, what if what if Ryokugyu just defected and he has this massive uh, Hito Hito no Mi or whatever fruit that he may have? It just doesn't... I guess it doesn't make the story any better, but it makes it seem like that, again, once again, the government is doing things that they're just messing up on. I don't know. 
Yeah, one of y'all want to go? Yeah, have something. Who else? What do you mean when um you said the girl giver gave him the fruit? Well, I'm pretty sure. I think it's been confirmed, right, that the admirals all received their devil fruits from the world government. I don't know if it's all of them. I, think, I don't know if it's all of them. I think it's the original three. The original though. three, I think, got them. I don't know about food. But it's known that celestial dragons also give devil fruits to like their yeah, slaves. they've done it to the slaves just for, for like, entertainment, for trolling purposes. Yeah. Um, to answer your question um, more specifically. If I had to guess who the other ones are, I don't know that they actually will play out in the series because Sun God Nika seems to be a more important figure in general than the other ones have been portrayed to be. Um, but again, this is all recent, so who knows? But um, I would say Blackbeard has one of them just because he's the antithesis of Luffy. He should have one. What, yeah, for sure. If I had to choose one, what, what are the three? What are the four? It's the river and the forest. The other one. The other Actually, river, I'd give forest, 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 earth, and moon right and no it's um sun god river god forest god and earth god okay how was, uh, how was earth in that forest not like the same thing see yeah, that's, that's 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 what i mean like it's kind of yeah. weird i was gonna go eam for one of the green ones just because like i know you said green bull i was gonna go eam because um he or she was in that castle with the giant forest station pangea castle so like i don't know I, I really don't know, but like Eam also means like water or something. Yeah. So like. Yeah, Emu, Emu, I, yeah, I mean sea, yeah. I just don't know where, because I, I, in my mind, Blackbeard would have to be one of them, and I don't know which one he could be at this yeah. point. So I guess Dragon is another potential one that could have one. You know what I mean? Like this. I think Dragon. I think Dragon has a Thunderbird fruit, to be honest. But okay. that's just me. What do y'all think? Because I'm, I've, I've always like kind of shied, shied away from this theory because I'm not. I wasn't a huge fan of like the Nika revelation in, in general. So I haven't like yeah. gone down the rabbit hole of like who else could be what fruit from there. Um, it's growing on me a bit, but like I just haven't thought of it much. I don't know if you guys have. I haven't thought of it much myself either, but I think, for example, but would you accept that Luffy's the only one that has a god type fruit? No, I think I think you would. Oh, yeah, like I I would absolutely, yeah. You would, yeah? Need, you would need another person to me. Because yeah. it's like, it would have to be I'm Eam just, or Blackbeard, I, though. I'm just, I'm just saying because they, they announced it in Skypea, all four of the gods. I was just like, all right, there, so, uh, something has to come out of this, even if it's just right. lore. I was just, I was just curious about what you guys thought about it. He, he could be the only one that they made a devil fruit for, okay. or or capable of making a devil fruit for. No, nah, but then that would lead into reincarnation for the other three. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't I mess don't. with the reincarnation thing, but the only reason I was like. I was talking a lot of even about this too. Like it said, like Luffy is the only one. The only gripes I have with that is you're giving Luffy so much, right? That was the issue with the fruit from the jump when we thought about it. Yeah, because like just like to me, I don't have problems with that because like you're giving Luffy so much in general, like all this help and everything. And then that's for me, Sebastian. I got to a thing with Lionel, and I can get to with Sebastian too. It's like, how can I say he's greater than Roger when he's been given everything? When Roger's been doing it all himself. His own will, his Facts. own crockers. But if Luffy's given everything, how is he greater than Roger? But that's, there, but that's a different topic. Seen, hold on, is it there seen being given things and earning things? Has Luffy yeah. even earned it? You don't think Luffy's earned these things? So just, to this point? So him just eating that fruit was him earning it? And him dying by Kaido? Hold on, but the and fruit... And look, awakening look at, was hold him on. earning it? Look at how much Are you guys Luffy ignoring had, all the training? Right! Look at how much Luffy had Damn, to go through yo. to awaken it. Damn, yo, I've been pirating for less than like hold seven on, months. Hold on, hold <laughs> on. Real okay, time. Okay, yo, but, but even, even people that have been pirating for 40 years have not put themselves through... The burdens, the Thank struggles, you. and yeah. the things that Luffy has in this time period. And, and if you're trying to say that they have, you're out of your mind. You are oh, out your of mind. your oh, mind. Wait, wait, wait. There is wait, wait, wait. nobody. Wait, wait, wait. Go Roger has it. That's the only other person I can even say. And again, even Roger, I, I don't know his story. Yeah. I've seen what Luffy's doing. Yo, we can even just go pre-time skip. They haven't done... Put that much on the line, yo. But they I'm saying haven't. This right but I'm saying this right now. But it was, I said, it was I told Lionel earlier. I was like... But even that, he got training. Who else got two-year training the, by the Pirate King's right-hand man? Like, you're trying to be greater than Roger. But Lawrence, you had to take Roger's right-hand man to train him. No, he didn't get that. that. I was saying the same thing with Lawrence, though. But I'm saying that. But we're going by these people. Like, Luffy's too young. Like, right. he's only so 19 gonna, years so old. So we're ignore the fact that Blackbeard joined um, Whitebeard when he was, like, 14 and didn't know anything? That right. wasn't any, any kind of training? Bro. Whitebeard trained no one in his it, crew. Bro, <laughs> like, listen, Ace, up, a, Ace is a proof of that. But hang on, you're, so you're saying that Blackbeard being on that ship with a whole bunch of that that made absolutely no difference into what he was able to uh, able uh, capable of doing in the future when he had Odin, when he had Whitebeard, 
Come he on, was fighting on. Shanks. He, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's training. Like, whether you want to acknowledge it or not, that's experience gained. I'm on a Yonko ship. For I'm a young coach. No, I'm gonna tell you right now, but we still talking about. And it was when Whitebeard was, was at his prime. Like, so we're also talking about Whitebeard in his prime, right? But also, Whitebeard was such a massive strength figure that his other crew members didn't have to fight most times. Nah, see, they didn't for these weaker crews. But again, we learned in hockey we, from Marco. But, but <laughs> yo, you like, learned it. You like, that's what we do. What, what, what hockey? <laughs> but then, hold on. But did Blackbeard not fight Shanks? Did Blackbeard? Like not you, fight? you still have opportunity yo, to fight people. Okay, okay. So we like go, even even on, that even on, that crew, they on. went up against the prime hold Roger on. Pirates, bro, with Odin. Hold on. But, and Clash. But we also saw Shanks get his arm taken off by a sea kick. So it's like. You Listen, agree with me. Oh, that is suspect. Lana, you got to give your that take. That is plot. But ultimately, yo, I'm just saying nobody in the game except maybe Roger has gone through the lengths and things and the struggles that Luffy has. It's crazy. And yo. even that Roger, yep. I can't, I Listen, can't call bro, that. When you got plot on your side. You can call you whatever can, you want. You can spit water into the air at a degree that it's not it going to hit you back. Yeah, and it hits it's you back. Stunning. And then it's crack it on. It's always going to be there. talking about plot. Yo, Luffy has earned this. I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on. He earned it with Kuma? Doran Sabaody? He earned Zoro's respect. <laughs> oh, so he didn't he earn, earn that. He didn't earn the escape earn that. that Kuma provided though earn. because of him doing the stupid things that he does. I said he didn't even earn Zoro's respect. Bro, Zoro just I'm going to be real. Me, I'm going to be real. Zoro, yo, son but, Kevin. But, and he knows he's Kevin. <laughs> no, he knows not, he's no, Kevin. Not, no, not. He knows. But, but this is my thing. Like, y'all, y'all saying plot. How many other people are dealing with two Shichi Bukais in one night, yo? And I'm 17. Like, what are we talking? Like, who's dealing with that? I was Ace. Ooh, talking Ace. about exactly. Ace. Ooh. No, I was no, no, Ace has like, never dealt with that, yeah. except for with the white oh, man. He, he did with a Yako. He fought Jimbe, and then and what how happened did to that? him? What other 17 year old has broken into all three of the biggest, um, um, Come on. Didn't uh, it? uh yeah. what do you call it for the Marines? You guys are like forgetting. The headquarters. Yeah, I think he's, down. They act like this is Ichigo. Well, I'm telling you right now, though. And he what? hasn't earned it. I'm telling you right now, though. He fought CP9. Did he have help? But he hasn't earned it. Did he, did he have but, help but, doing but it all? You say that, but a person who has a crew, that's your help, regardless. Right. Like, you're not, you're not like Roger did everything on his own. Here. He didn't. He had a crew with him the whole no, time. See, the crew I give because you earned your crew because you yeah, recruited them. 100%. That's your strength. Mm -hmm. Outside the crew, random people just giving you stuff and just helping you for whatever reason because, oh, your father is this. Oh, your grandpa is this. Oh, you have this ability. That's not you, bro. That's yeah, but that's this is the thing though. But this is the thing though. It, Luffy, Luffy wasn't trained by anybody because he was the grandson of of Garp or Thank or you. or the son of Dragon. Yeah. They they saw they saw a potential in Luffy and decided to go with him. What are you talking about? With Rayleigh, yeah. with Rayleigh he was interested in Luffy because of what Shanks said. In when Luffy. he saw yeah. what exactly. Luffy was like, exactly. he went, "Oh, this kid is dope. He deserves this." Yeah. I, I understand exactly. that. What I'm trying to say is right. Is that, for example. Other oh, people... by the way, I love this. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> on, I need, I need, I need, I need more friends that watch One Piece. Man, <laughs> listen. Before Lawrence goes, you're wrong about the Rayleigh thing because the only reason Rayleigh trained or wanted to train Luffy was because Luffy has this a uh, vague ass dream no. that Shanks no. was told about. No, no, he, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Shanks it's said that to Rayleigh. It's not true. And then he said, yo, it's not true. I'm going to check him out when this he comes is, through. This is not true. Yes. Rayleigh didn't make any decisions to train Luffy until after Ace was dead because yeah. he had seen how weak Luffy was. It's because Luffy put all that shit on the line and Rayleigh was watching it but he and saw, saw him punch the Celestial. But like he yep. literally experienced yep. Luffy do the realest anyone's ever done yeah. okay. besides Roger Ever's in the series but he, and went, yo, I have to make sure this kid can do it. But he already had an interest because of what Shanks told Rayleigh. But Larry, did and he? Rayleigh yes, paid but attention. Hang on, hang on. Yes, he but had he an offered that he even before. Said it. Rayleigh even said it, that he had an interest of just getting to meet Luffy. Exactly. Thank you. Meaning that he was right. going to make the decision based on how Luffy was, which is when, when the question came up to is like, um, what did he say? He was like, um, uh, uh, are you ready to conquer the seas? And Luffy's like, no, it's just being a pirate king is the free. That's when he saw Roger. And that's when he saw there was something different about this kid. Then when he saw everything that was happening in Marine Force with Sabaody, yeah, that's when he decided to swim all the way to goddamn yes, uh, yes, Lily. And probably a big ah, impact crazy. on it. And when he saw probably Luffy do King disposition, when a rare hockey that nobody really doesn't have. All right, so, so like all so, that was so, all Luffy. So, it, hold on, hold oh, on. I, um, so let me put it this way: 
if 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 Shanks never tells Rayleigh about anything about Luffy, and Luffy just meets Rayleigh. Does Rayleigh still train him? Up yes, yes, I do believe so. Yes. I yes. personally do believe yes. so. Yes. One, he'd see the hat and be exactly. like, that's, that's interesting. That's interesting. And then he'd say the same thing Roger's saying, living the same exactly. life Roger's living it, punching yeah. Celestial yeah. Dragons, yeah. going to Impel down, trying to... Come on, man. Hello. False. Hello. Come on. And I he got, knows the history. Uh, he got the D in his name. There's no way, I'm going to ask a question that I, me and Lano got into this the other day, right? I'm going ask, I'm to ask you guys this question, right? And oh, Oz, you could uh, comment on it, too. I said, okay. right... Go to the same topic we're talking about. Take away Luffy's ability. Just that alone. Take away his ability. Right? But... Are you talking about his devil fruit ability? Yeah. Okay. His ability, uh-huh. right? Oh, okay. Okay. But yeah, put okay. him... I'm, I'm going to use even his time now. Luffy's era to his time now. But take Roger from his era and put him in the same era that Luffy is. So both of them are coming up at the same exact time. Both rookie pirates. Without his ability, does Luffy beat out Roger for Pirate Creek? Wait, you're going one question. Does Raj have his crew? Because that, that's, a, that's, crew. A, that's a loaded question, bro. Because now it's he doesn't. Like, hold on, we're gonna answer that later. Because we can't answer that right now. It. On top of Oz's yeah. question, he doesn't because beat now it. we're just gonna go down a rabbit hole. I know, yeah. but I'm telling you right now, uh, he doesn't. Know, he, he, he doesn't yeah. beat. He hold doesn't on. beat Roger. Hold on, uh, go Lionel. About what? Which one? Oz's question. Yeah, Oz's question. What was the question again? Oz, can you repeat the four? The four guys. The four potential devils. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Shout out to Roger. He had it. So you said the um the four those four guy things from are from Skypea, right? Yeah. Yeah. Be right. So who would the other three be? I'm right here preaching. My fault. I mean, to be honest, it has to be irrelevant to, like, what's happening now with the plot and what Luffy's going to face or whatever. So, like, I think the Smash is right with Eam Sama and, and um, Blackbeard. Blackbeard? Yeah. So, like, but the third one, I don't, maybe, I mean, I don't want to say Dragon because I don't know, because his, what, from where we've seen his, his win. But I do say that just because you're called, like, Sun has nothing to do with Robert. I mean, like, Sun and like, Robert have nothing to do with each other. Like, that's what people thought, like, Ace. So you think that these other... Gods could be anything. Yes, That's it true. could. Be, it doesn't have to be related to your ability at all. Because what does the sun have to do with Luffy's ability being rubber? It has That's nothing. True. There's no linkage to it at all. But it has. Damn. So like, That's it, true. Lionel kind of blew my mind. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking it could That's be. Lionel kind of blew my mind. <laughs> what happens, bro. So, right. so it could be like. No, you're right. So it could be anything, but like, again, it has to be relevant to. Um, <laughs> To the, the story. Luffy, yeah, yeah, to the story of Luffy's gonna face. And the only one that seems logical is with the, how the plot went towards, like, you know, how the story's going now would be Blackbeard and Eam. Dude, if Kobe Unless somebody else is, we're missing. Kobe's ability. Bro, we, we gotta move on. But, like, Par just said, I just realized Larry's cosplaying Shanks. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Steve, you're not supposed to laugh back there, bro. Hey, yo. <laughs> Right, yo. Yo, yo, bring more back, yo. Hey, Tell hey, Marv we want him dead. back, bro. I'm dead, yo. I'm fine. Oh, man. Right. Anyway. Is hilarious, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yo, Oz. Oz great much love to you and uh, yeah. wifey, and thank you for calling out, brother. Yes. Yeah, appreciate you. Of course, man. Hey, one last one last thing. Lawrence, it's Zoe, not Zohan. That's, <laughs> that's Adam Sandler, bro. That's I... Adam Sandler, fam. It's Zoe. <laughs> Adam Sandler's not a Zohan, though. Get it. <laughs> I, I be saying Zohan too. I can't even lie. Yeah, enter the Zohan. Enter the Zohan. <laughs> Thanks. All, All right, guys. Man, happy That's anniversary, kind of guys. Much love to you guys, man. Yeah, and keep doing what y'all doing. Y'all killing it, man. Thank, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. See you I later. I don't know if Steve watches One Piece or not. Kind of. <laughs> he, did, he, did, he, did, he did one of these. He yeah, said he yeah, just yeah, started. He just started. All right, guys. You can call again. How both calls get us heated? <laughs> it's hot in here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I, thought yeah, the AC, yeah. I thought the AC was getting dirty. <laughs> oh, he said it's on. Yeah. Steven here lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Are you good, Steve? All right, this is that One Piece talk. <laughs> this is Larry. Who are you and how are you? Hey, guys, what's up? It's Marv, the producer. Oh, hey! Hey! Yo, Mark, bro, you need to come back, bro. <laughs> Steve out here laughing too much, man. Yo, we got Mark. What's up, Mark? Yeah, man, I'm uh, I'm tumbling my way through Air- Newark Airport right now. So, uh, Struggle City. I want to say I miss you guys, and I'm proud of you guys, man. You guys are kicking ass. 
Hey, oh, thank you, Jamar. Can't wait to hug you, bro. <laughs> that one Yo, Seb is a, is a god at uh, Connect Four. I try to tell him. I try to tell them, bro. God. Yo, you know what I'm saying? I will say this. Undefeated at bravery. <laughs> Undefeated at bravery. I went to Aaron's cookout yesterday. He beat me two out of three, man. Damn. Damn. It was close. Yo. I can't even get into it. I'm telling y'all later, yo. It, it's, it's, it's drama. <laughs> My fault. Uh, I got one question for you guys uh, since I got to run quick. Um, I know you guys have spoke before about doing like a, a One Piece Fighter Z, like from uh, like the way they made Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Uh -huh. But what do you guys think about if they do a Jump Fighter Z instead and just include everybody? That, that way you have more content. Fire. You could reuse characters from Fighter Z. And like you know, you got a wide wide variety of characters to play with. That would be dope, and I have thought about this before. It would have to be two characters from each series. That's Ooh, the just only, two? only two. Bro, you know how many animes there are? You gotta go three, bro. Hold on, hold on. Do you, you know how many three. animes there are? I can name like twenty animes right now, See? and that would be forty characters. That means you can't do it. You can't do a three man lineup yeah. of just yeah. your anime. I mean, even if you did the three man lineup, that's sixty characters from just twenty. Like, yo, top 20 shows. 20 yeah. shows, yeah. everybody gets three. That's fine. No, and you no. can't expect I more than that. Right. No, yo, download yeah. content. Yeah. Yeah. Download, download content. Yeah. You do that, then you just add more characters. It's like, oh, we, we're adding whoever this week. But yeah. most anime shows, right, have two protagonists in some degree, right? Mm -hmm. Like Gon, Killua, Trigon, Vish, uh, and Knives, and Naruto, and Sasuke. You know what I'm saying? Goku, Vegeta. Like, there's a bunch of people that are two, so you would have to put a villain, right? I guess the villain DLC pack, and they would be the no, extra Larry, third person? No, Larry, I think they got to do fan favorite for the third pick, because every anime also has, like, a fan favorite. Like, Rock Lee is a lot of people's fan favorite. Not Nedu. You know, so you have to have... It'll be the, the DLC. <laughs> Maybe not anymore. It's going to be Itachi who's going to win not that gonna be, It's not going to be any of them. From, It'll be Itachi. From that, that, that generation. That. It would be Kakashi. No. Yeah, it would be Kakashi. It would be Kakashi. Yeah. No, I would. It, it, it might be Sakura. But... DLC characters <laughs> nah. too, so you have you to like put the crazy. fan favorite at least as DLC. Yo, bro, I would love that game. Yeah. I'm not even joking. Like that if would be like the right? best game ever. I think they gotta they combine because remember Budokai Three. I think they did a pretty good job. So if they combine Budokai Three with Fighter Z and no, we're not doing Tenkachi, bro. Stop, I said Budokai bro. Three. Budokai said before Budokai Tenkachi. Three. Budokai Budokai before Tenkachi. Budokai, 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 Budokai was that's the game we played. Budokai know, Three was the was, 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 yeah, I thought that was two. Budokai, Budokai no, was Three was heat. Three was party game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's where they added the teleportation. It was, it was it was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was a yeah, but they like party games though. That was a good question. All the Budokai and Tenkaichi games. All I know is Marv, I've thought about this a couple times. Marv, Marv ducked me on Connect Four, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know I said it about Steve, but Marv actively ducked me. Bro. Actively. No, 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 no. Next time around, come to karaoke night. We'll play against it in karaoke. You don't got the vocals, Yo. Marv? It's <laughs> <laughs> stupid. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll With see. that but game, I gotta though. Fly, guys. All right, I see you. All right, see you later, Marv. Marv. Thank you. On the other side of the window. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. All right, see you. Later. With that fighter Z, it would be dope if they also had a version. You guys could call again. Yeah. With that version, like, you know how Smash Bros is? But you could do both. That would be dope. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on? This is that One Piece Talk. My name is Larry. Who are you and how are you? Yo, Larry, it's Parvision. Hey! hey! What's up? What's up? What's nah, up? bro. Nah, bro. You said I'm cosplaying Shanks, man. Yo, Shanks. My heart broke. said that buggy DLC hey, go crazy. If you look at it this way, he said you're Yonko level. If you look at it that way. Oh, he did say I was Yonko level. All right. What's up, Par? Yo, I'm going to keep it quick so that other people can call in, but I was... I don't know if you guys saw this thing, but I was like... I realized that the current Yonko, right? So it's buggy, blackbeard, Luffy, Shanks, right? And... Buggy, not Buggy, uh, Blackbeard and Luffy, they both technically injured Shanks. Blackbeard left a scar on Shanks' eye, and technically because of Luffy, <laughs> Shanks lost his arm. So now I'm wondering, is there a world where Buggy either intentionally like himself or maybe Shanks sacrifices himself for Buggy? Is there a way that Shanks injures himself because of Buggy? It what do you guys think? Smash and stuff. Oh my god, yo, <laughs> no. I love every bit of that. No. I love it, because y'all would be so mad if Shanks sacrificed himself for fucking Alan. What would be the point? <laughs> Like, they're That's not his even, man's, bro. Yeah. They're not even really friends. That's his friend, bro. Yeah, they're barely... Depends on Shanks' view. They're brothers, they're brothers for life. You know, you know what this is? This is like... 
This is Sh- Luke, Sh- Zoro Sh- sacrificing Sh- himself no, no, for Sanji. No, it is not. No, it is not. <laughs> this is literally like you have Shanks is Luffy, and then Buggy's just a way, 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 way weaker version than Kit. This is this is their relationship. Now, Lawrence, forget him. You're forgetting that Shanks really had a chance to go to Laugh Tale. Thank you. And he didn't because Buggy was sick and he said That's true. The Brotherhood is no, real, no, bro. That, no, what I said. Luffy ain't doing that. Kid, <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Like, why are we going? No, kid, you bad, bro. <laughs> no, but you see, but you see the way Luffy is with, with Bellamy. The way he was with Bellamy and and Kid. Yeah. He 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 rides for his friends. You know, like pretty much. This dude was taking punches to the face from Bellamy. Like this is some dude you want one shot at and has no business even come approach you in a fight, you know. And he's doing something stupid while fighting you and no one's someone's treating him like trash. Yet Luffy's really taking punishment from this dude, you know. And if Luffy, remember, he would rather figure out himself than someone else leading him there, you know. <laughs> so Larry been in the mud ever nah, since the buggy I, news came out, low key, bro. I need y'all to know that. <laughs> he takes it seriously, man. But, but Oda is trolling so hard because he's a troll. He wants to. He was just like, "Oh yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this." Buggy, bam. This is this is where I get into the the point par where I'm like, "Have I truly been defeated?" Because <laughs> because like now like 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 we talk you know we talk all the time, but it's like I have to somehow rationalize what's happening, and I have to be like, "Okay, so if Buggy is this, why would this happen?" So, and immediately when you asked that question in my mind, I despised myself <laughs> because I said, okay, so like, let's say, let's say that Shanks does sacrifice himself for Buggy. Why would he do so? And how, who would take him out, right? Who would take right. him out? And I'm like, okay, most likely it would be Blackbeard. Why would Blackbeard take out Shanks and why would Buggy be involved? Well, Blackbeard's collecting devil fruits. So if Buggy happens to now be called a, b- a bombastic Buggy and no. everybody's thinking like he can separate atoms at a certain level if his awakening does so, then Blackbeard would want to go after Buggy's devil fruit and give it to one of his crew members. And it's like, that's why Shanks ends up dying in Sebastian's fairy tale world. And this is why Luffy probably never meets Blackbeard. I mean, never meets Shanks as a great pirate. So they can't fulfill their promise. Or that would like be that. bad I'm writing. Gonna, I'm gonna be real. But that's no. what comes to my mind because now I have to rationalize Buggy. I'm gonna be real. That would be bad. I writing. can totally see a, a Yako party with like Buggy, Shanks, and Luffy, and like Blackbeard crashing it. So like, why wasn't it. I invited? That's true. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah, if, that's true. They all, all they all cool. No, but, but like if Blackbeard, if Shanks sacrificed for Buggy, that's not to me. That's not good writing. It's not. It's not yeah. good writing at it, all. Listen, it's older, bro. <laughs> he, he gonna make yeah, you feel away. He gonna make you feel away when he writes it, uh, if he writes it. So why are you? He recreates the Ace saving Luffy scene, and you know Shanks <laughs> blocks it for Buggy. You know. Yeah, so but why would he even we, do? We, we Yo, the thing is, the thing is, like we've seen Buggy go up against Mihawk, and like he was good. But Blackbeard has come that on, hard counter. Come bro. on, man! With the he's good. Listen, he listen, wasn't you're not good. To me. Bro. I'm saying the only person. That could stop him from separating from, from to escape death is Blackbeard. I'm just saying, yo. I'm just saying. Man, you realize that if Mihawk really wanted to kill Buggy, that is no problem. Exactly. Why did you even use that? Mihawk didn't right? do it because that's Shanks. That's yo, yeah, a, y'all that's remember those boy, little bro? toys that had the big eyes and the weird hair that would stick up yeah. and they were small? Troll. <laughs> that's Sebastian, bro. And why Human you, form. And why are you thinking Shanks is deaf? Like, why? Why I went there? Because he's a hater. He just wants Shanks no, no, to no, die. No, no, no. I want Shanks to die for a lot of reasons, but like because <laughs> because of, no, 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 no. It's always been about the ginger. impact it would have. No, it's <laughs> always been about the impact that that death would have on Luffy. Always. That's always been what it is. Sebastian, you do know how bad. How bad that would be writing wise. No, right? wouldn't. No, it would not. Shanks has literally been shown for what, like, twelve minutes in total in the anime, like, and you just kill him. So to, to be fair, <laughs> Come on, I'll tell you this: they didn't Hold have on, that much on. showtime before Marineford, and then we got the backstory afterwards. We got more Ace after his Thank death, you. right? So. Yo, could be something like that. So yeah, so y'all telling me right now that y'all would be happy with Shanks dying. And he in only this got, scenario? I'm not, he gonna get like a, I'm not, he gonna get like a Yo, full okay, episode right, of just all, talking, and then he just dies. First of all, I said I said Shanks might injure himself yeah, for he, Buggy. Yeah, he yeah. said he got hurt. But I took it to the death. He gonna lose his other I arm. I took it to death. He gonna be the armless pirate. 
See, but but no no but then but then the logic naturally goes to like when we're getting into the end of the series you know right. if we're gonna hurt Shanks we're probably just gonna kill him right like yeah. it's the end of the series oh, we permanently and, hurt Shanks you bro. know what are we talking about bro either die or don't exactly see I thought of one thing see I thought of one thing that could because um when because I'm not saying I want Shanks dead I'm not saying that but I understand Sebastian's reason it could be good writing but I always thought like if Shanks dies. It all would probably lead to, you know, the reason why he dies would be his possible son with Maniko, you know. That was been always been my. And I think, yeah. and if you want to add Buggy in it, they had that chapter I already showed Lawrence. They had Buggy and Shanks drinking, and like you know, where they're shooting, the, you know, whatever. Shanks could have linked like he has a kid towards Buggy. Somehow Buggy leaks that to Blackbeard, and Blackbeard used that to his advantage to kill Shanks for through his son. Bro. Got linking that to Buggy. Bro, I could That's the only totally way I can think of it. see a scenario where Buggy is chopping up with Blackbeard. You know what I'm saying? He lets it leak. I'm, I'm going to ask this, though. There's a lot of plays here. I'm going to ask yeah. this, though. Like, all right, so we see, all right, there had to be, I guess, character growth for Luffy for when Ace died, right? But what's yeah. where, where's the growth in Luffy if Shanks dies? Like, it's more towards the end of the show. What does Luffy have to gain? Well, for me, it's not just about growth. I've said it a thousand times on this show. I need Luffy and Blackbeard to be beef, right? Yeah. I need it to be straight. Like, you know how Luffy looks at Akainu? When he hears Akainu, he thinks back to the yeah. scar. When he talks about, when he hears about Blackbeard, he doesn't care. He's like, ah, right, whatever. Because he knows in the grand scheme, yo, we was just pirates. Blackbeard was doing some shit, whatever. End of the day, I had a chance to save Ace and, and I failed. Blackbeard was a start, but whatever. He doesn't care about Blackbeard in that light. A kind who killed Ace in front of him, and he was too weak, and was the reason in his mind. It holds a different weight. If if we get to the point where Shanks, his goal, like you always talk about, Shanks is his goal, and Blackbeard took that goal from him, that brings the and it's it's all encompassing for the beef, and that's just how I want it. Not fully, because remember in um, Desarosa when he saw Hadrius Burgess and he heard Blackbeard's voice. Talking yeah. on the Denimushi. You saw Luffy's reaction. How I gotta, serious I look he got. Yeah, yeah. Like, was, ready to, I'm about to fight you right now. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was straight. He, it was yeah. like yeah. well, that was that was more. I think because didn't Blackbeard say some some spicy stuff too? No, he no. Was oh, talking, I haven't seen you. He was talking to Hedges Burgess. No, he was talking to Hedges Burgess. He was talking. He was going to get the ability before. Uh, or was I'm taking his Good ability for myself. Good thing we got Par on the phone. Par, what chapter is that? Wait, what are we looking for again? When Luffy was on the when Burgess was on the phone. Talking to Blackbeard on Dress Rosa and Luffy overheard. It was during the um the it was definitely during the Coliseum. It was, yeah, the Coliseum War. Yeah, remember it's when um Rebecca was taking Luffy to um to it's talk. Like or chapter whatever. seven ten about. We gonna see, dude. Yeah, Luffy was heated from the get. Like he was yeah. ready. Because all he was talking about, like I'm gonna get this ability, not you, Luffy. Mm. Yeah, bro. He's and he was like, Yo, the, the, that's what I'm saying. That's that's that's. Y'all get me. But also, too, Blackbeard's a very hateful person. Exact opposite of Luffy. So Luffy's gonna grow to hate this dude just like he did where like all the others. Like Blackbeard is worse than Dolph from He's worse than Crocodile. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's not worse than Dolph. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, I, I was like, that. wait, let me pause on that one. He could but, be though, but he has the potential to be. This is the thing too, right? To bring it back to Aaron Tate's question about like which Yonko had the better showing. It's like we can't even say Kaido really had a better showing than even Whitebeard because we still compare Kaido to Dofi in terms of just being a villain. But that's you know what villainy. I'm that's that's villainy. villainy. We're, that's, we're talking about specific but that's strength. Part of, no, no. It's showing. A showing. He was about, he was about strength. The, the pre, pre, I guess, question was yeah. phrase is strength. Yeah. It was, yeah nah. it was, listen, bro. Saw Dofi do a lot. <laughs> Dofi the And it was impressive tried, as hell. I'm trying to tell you. Yo, Par. Congrats again, man. Yeah. I'm making yeah. the reverie, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's how we not mentioned that. Amazing, bro. That's awesome. awesome. That's like thank you, thank you. Next level, bro. Bar started doing push-ups. He's wearing like V-neck shirts <laughs> now that show his chest. I'm telling you, bro. Also, oh, you, you did miss. Different. It was not seven ten. I just wanted to point that out. It's <laughs> but yeah. I don't know if I can find it. But it's what? gonna be exciting. But I, I told I, I forget where I said this. I said the like Low key, like that, you know, th you know, that's that's a like a business thing. That's like a, you know, but this, like talking to you guys, this is what I look forward to. And uh, so, you know, <laughs> when I come onto the show in a few weeks, you know, hey, we're yes. gonna we're gonna talk about everything. It's gonna be dope. 
Cody, yeah. Cody Doflamingo shoot the was it? And she, I, I yeah, care. I know you said, but I'm actually. not gonna curse. But yeah, I'm sure you're gonna have an amazing time, man, and just yeah. chopping up with those. The Yonko of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and the Yo, Warlords yeah. and whatnot. Low key, On your way, bro. Low key, like, Par is like a Toby Robo right now. Uh, <laughs> Toby Robo. He is Supernova, Toby Robo, at least, but he like the Luffy right now. Bro. Yeah, he's Luffy right he now. He out here. Yeah, for sure. He like are, you, are you going to go with a straw hat on? Oh, are you, are you Yo. wearing anything? Oh, well, that's the other question. Do you have dates? What's the date for that? Uh, July 8th, right? Or... Yep, July 8th at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, oh. we got to tune in for sure. Damn, I'm going to be traveling. Yeah. You well, either cool. way, I appreciate the love, guys. Thank you. Nah, anyway, <laughs> thank you, Par. Thank you for calling out, Brody. That's a Friday. Yeah. Anytime. All right, talk to you later. Appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, talk to you later. Appreciate yeah. it. Later, Marv. Enjoy. Yeah. I'll take, yeah. The, take the number down. Congratulations. Take it down? Yeah. Oh. So, right now, before we get into more calls, uh, just read the super chats real quick, and then we're gonna do our sponsor, guys, and then we're gonna come back. So, super chat from Oz. Oh, there was like one before that. Was it? No. All right. Yeah, we did get a super chat from Oz. What is uh, he got a four month membership. Hey. It says, "Do y'all think Arc Maxim is Pluton?" No. Ooh. I think it was close, but no. Because we, we cool we're one. still we're, we're st we still don't understand what Pluton is. We just know that there's blueprints for it. Hmm. But can blue uh, can Pluton actually be a person? Me and Par were actually talking about this in Discord earlier, and I'm not a fan of any of the ancient weapons besides Poseidon being a person. Right. But everything else I think should be a physical object of some sort, or something like vague, like Uranus could be like the straw hat we seen in Marie Joa with M, right? Like, there's, there's uh, a thing around it saying that it's related to, like, observation hockey, which isn't physical. But it gives you, like, visions of something. So if you can use it to dictate what the next lights will be that you need to extinguish, then that straw hat appearing would make sense because it's kind of like a mirage. That's that Morge theory from way yeah. back. Yeah. So that would be cool. But Pluton should definitely be, like, something you have to build. Yeah, that's a mind. Yeah, and I mean, in this but case, the Anel maximum, would have built yeah. it. I just, I'm not a fan of like Anel building it in that way. Like, I think if it gets built in the current timeline, mm -hmm. Frankie should be the one building it. But that's me. No. But that's just, that's me. What are the next one? Plus, I don't think it had any weaponry. Like, I don't think it had any. No, nah, it was just a travel. attack power. Yeah, yeah like, I, I, I don't know. Anel didn't build, he didn't have a blueprint to Pluton. Huh? No. Who knows? Hold on, hold on. It didn't have an ability. It allowed him to create that giant lightning ball. Okay. Yeah. That was like an atomic. But that was from bomb. harness from his power though. Yes, but right. the ship harnessed the power even more so. Yeah. Like it, it helped him control it better. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But yeah, thanks Oz so much. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Oz, for being Thank you. Uh, a member uh, for four We months. got a two dollar super chat from Eric Sargent. It says for Bleach, I need Stren Rider Quincy. Um I don't know what that means. It's it's in so the thousand the, the game. The thousand year it's a war. thousand year war blood arc. And it's basically like they're like a crew that they do just massively cool things. I don't know what it technically I, has to do with us. I though. dropped bleach after Grimjaw lost. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I saw I saw Ukior. I thought, yeah. yeah. Anything else? Uh we got another five dollar super chat from Eric Sargent. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, thank you, bro. Um, thank you. It says Buggy's not competing, bro. <laughs> over maybe eighty five. Like overall, probably Top. overall, overall like, like 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 a two yeah, K okay. rating. Okay, he's not an eighty five, but he's not nowhere near. 85. He's like a forty three. <laughs> if that, I still believe he gets knocked out from college. All right. I don't think so. Anyway, Usa guys, didn't. before we go back into calls, uh, we're gonna do our sponsorship real quick because we have to. So, Steve, can you hit that real quick, and then we'll come back. This episode is sponsored by Better Help. Have you been struggling lately? Maybe you're having trouble sleeping, difficulty with a relationship, or just struggling from low self-esteem. Listen, I've been there. We've been there. If so, then today's BetterHelp wants to help you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. Talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your own convenience. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapists network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire, simple as that, to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours. 
Then, you schedule a secure video and phone sessions. Plus, you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. I happened to sign up at one point regarding my confidence issues. Next thing you know, my confidence issues are not issues anymore. I'm doing pretty well in that area. You can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. Join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced better help therapist. Special offer goes out to all that One Piece Talk listeners. You get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash T-O-P-T. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash T-O-P-T. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> All right, we back. throw back up that number, mm-hmm. Steve, so people can call if it's not already there. Damn, my mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Far post the number. How do I not have the number? I'm trash. Uh, I got it. I got it. I posted it. <laughs> I'm trash. All right, it's pinned. Do you see it? Mm-mm. Everybody sees the number? It's, it's All right, bad. So call again if you want. We have another hour, so yeah. more than welcome to get us going. Call now. You got one? All right, but yeah, so it's hundreds of pirates waiting by the phone and they all talk. Hundreds <laughs> 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 of pirates? <laughs> I can't say the other word, man. All right. Let me know when it's good. Hey, what's going on? This is Larry from that One Piece talk. Who are you and how are you? Oh, uh, hey, I'm Teacher Goat from the Discord. Hey, hey what's, up, what's up, man? What up, man? How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. I just had a serious question about how uh, people, and there's like this kind of discussion between me and my friends that we have. Is there a possibility that there is a stage above Yonkos? Like Luffy now just got this sun god, Nika fruit, and how there's this talk of gods and all these different fruits. Is there a possibility that there is now this level above Yonkos? Because there was no talk of this before. Roger, when in Roger's time, Rox's time, there was no talk of that level of um, power. Mm. I, I actually do have an answer for this. Um, it would be the Rox and Roger level. So, for example, uh, beyond, there weren't any emperors, right? There was just pirates roaming the seas doing their thing. Rox kind of created his own league when he decided he wanted to become uh, king of the world. And I think you start to get into that type of degree of strength right so we already know that emperors just aren't emperors because of their strength it's because of influence financial gains also the the crew level like their strength how much uh people they have on their side stuff like that when you become ruler of the world now you're like stepping into like world government type of uh ish uh type of power and what does the world government have so we can't say like Eam inherited his power maybe or he gained his power through whatever means speculation, right? Because we don't know anything about him. Mm. But Rox is, I think, made that next league. So if Luffy's to become pirate, like we all suspect he's going to become pirate king, right? But for the story, he has to be bigger than Roger. So that means he has to be bigger than the pirate king to some degree. So if he's going to liberate the world and bring its new dawn, that's like... He's, he's going to have to change the world and and have the power of Poseidon, which is greater than any of the powers the world government currently has. So he steps into that realm, in my opinion. Like, he becomes an um, inadvertent ruler of the world, to a degree. Mm. Um, do you, yeah, I have something before I go. All right, so the way I look at it is, and I agree with a lot of what Larry said just now, which is rare, <laughs> but I'll put it. Um, I'll say... The level beyond Yonko and even beyond Pirate King, I guess, to to Larry's point, like what he was saying, is like the era was yours. You know what I mean? Like Rox had an era that was his era. His Mm -hmm. pirate crew dominated that entire era. Roger had an era where he became the Pirate King. He sailed. He was the only person to reach the end of um, the Grand Line and everything, right? And then the era after Roger was split four ways. Three ways, and then Shanks came to four ways between the Yonko. So it was the Yonko era. Like, Luffy's going to be, like, beyond Yonko in that light, where it's like, this era was Luffy's. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to be the Supernova. It's not going to be him and Blackbeard splitting it. It'll be Luffy's era. Yeah, I 100% he, agree. He Luffy is still that. only 19 years old. Like, right. I, I'm just still, 
Like, he is far away from his prime still. So I'm just really trying to see how far is Oda going to take this? Like, like is there, like, because NL is on the moon. Level. So is it, like, now there's going right. to be, like, fights in space? Like, like what? where is this leading to? I have no clue. You think we go to space? I, I think I think there is a very big possibility. Yes, I, I have no clue, but just seeing how like Luffy's fruit already defied the laws of physics, like he he turned a lightning bolt in a rubber, um, jumped a rope with Kaido, or jump or like swung around the lightning bolt, grabbed it out the air, grabbed Kaido's blast breath and threw it right back. Like, and because it, this is his very first time using Gear Five, there could be a long list of different ways you could use it. Like Luffy smiling all the time. What happens if he frowns with it? Like, is there like different ways to see that? <laughs> of like, how that. much more power can he achieve to actually reach that level? Imagine sad Luffy's the strongest Luffy. <laughs> oh man, imagine, what do y'all think? Imagine if Kaido's drunk in phases. But you want me to go first, or you want to go? You go. So uh, I was thinking there is, and I, I don't know if you meant like before Pirate King, but I would count honestly, like Larry brung out Arox and Roger. I would throw Joy Boy. Before, you know, Luffy was Joy Boy in that genre that's higher than um, Yonko. And Luffy, he's Joy Boy now. To me, he still has to uh, get a little higher before he gets higher than Yonko because he just named Yonko. But I thought it was interesting because even because I, so what I'm tapping into is like what they call in a way, uh, what could be lead to that position higher than Yonko. The show's leading to like these mighty ones that they're calling like gods, like Joy Boy or the fruit, uh, Nika is like their god, uh, like a god, a mighty one, right? But that was interesting. So I'm counting like Rocks, Roger, Joy Boy, Luffy potential. But the reason why I bring it up is like the uh, that Mighty One God form or uh, title is uh, Ryuma, right? He's called the Blade God, right? And I already said before that he already reached the title of the world's strongest, as in they called him King, and then he reached something higher than that, reaching like uh, you know that form. Because the reason I bring it up in one of the uh, the newest chapters, I don't know if it's the newest one or the one right before it, they put. Ryuma, like they said, Nika, the only person that could rival him or the only person that could rival uh, Ryuma's strength was Nika, this person. So they they view Ryuma or they have Ryuma, the shows the manga is telling us, Ryuma as his level of Nika's strength, mm-hmm. right? So I thought that was very interesting that that's what the manga said. And he t- reached the title of Blade God. So we have the Sun God, the Blade God, and we have Joe Boy, Roger, and uh, Rox. I'm thinking of probably those titles ab- uh, above Pirate uh, God. Yeah, a pretty. <laughs> I wouldn't say all that, but like pretty much, yeah. A pirate. <laughs> so you're saying that their God. epitaphs would include some sort of like God next yeah. to their name. Yeah. Got you. That makes sense too. That's the one way they could go with it. You answered mine or no? No. I mean, I always thought like obviously Pirate King was always higher than um than the Yonkos, of and course. I also believe that um like cause since they said that Big Mom and them been um Yonkos for decades. That implies that they've been Yakos for a very long time. So I actually started to believe that when Rocks died, that's when the Yakos formed. Like that's when the certain people started becoming Yakos. But I always thought since ever since then, Roger got his own era. Roger became higher than the Yakos. But on the God thing, I never like. I feel like that's what the um, it's going, and that's what pretty much with the ability wise. Because I don't know how, if and mostly they link that towards ability. Like even though Ryuma got that um that title, but. Luffy has an ability that kind of shows he's reaching that level. Mm-hmm. Like that's something. That's why, in a way, you kind of say that. That's why Luffy would be, right, would be at Roger the rate would be his ability because only because his unique ability. Now it's not because if he had Whitebeard's ability, no. But if he, since he had the unique ability, it's leading to a god. And with Luffy's hockey, that's the only way to kind of looking at Luffy might be like a one. Because again, there's Yonko, Pirate King, then Luffy reaches that, like you were saying, that higher level. But it's mostly off ability based. And that's where I think that's where we're looking to like the sun god. And that's why we're probably also thinking if Luffy's reaching this level, who else has it? Is gonna face Luffy at that moment. Because like now if Luffy keeps getting stronger, who's gonna be Luffy's comp? Like who's gonna be in a way a god in his level? Mm. I never thought of him going to the moon and out of space. That's actually very interesting. Cause I always wonder what what's the point of Nell going to the moon and just linking to whatever, but they Something don't up there. Yeah, like what's that's connection. You know it's crazy. Me and Par were also talking earlier, yeah, he's bringing and we the chat. mentioned this. <laughs> he's bringing and the chat. I was telling him how foolish it sounds. <laughs> um, but what about you, Teach? What do you think? Hello? We lose Teach? Oh, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault. I, 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 kind of, I, was, I was paying attention so much, I kind of zoned out for a second. <laughs> um, but um, 
I, I really do believe that. And and it's still trying to figure out who, who is that one that's kind of going to match Luffy in the end? Emu or is it Blackbeard? And in my opinion, I feel like Luffy's going to get washed by Emu. I think it's going to be some new power he's never seen before. And I think we might get another time skip mm. or it just might be a moment where Luffy does have that right before he fights Emu, he kind of gets some type of teaching from Dragon or whoever that, that he's able to take down Emu. But... um. Or, or Blackbeard, but I, I'm just really trying to see, like, h- how much further is Luffy going to go before the series ends, and what is his max? Because Gear 5, I guess, it, it showed, like, a sneak peek, but then you're still at that moment, you got to realize where Luffy is still, like, so young. He's 19. Like, he's beaten people who've been on the scene, who be on the seas for decades. So it's it's still in my head and it's always just wondering. So I was wondering what y'all's opinion on that was. So I, I'll say this, um, a part of Luffy's journey is the potential that he might die at the end of it. You know yeah, what I mean? Because 100%. he's he's giving so much to try to achieve these things. Um, decades of his life even, you know, years, lifespan, etc. So I know I said that the era thing, he could very well just not make it past this era after he finishes everyone off yeah. type thing. Um I hope he doesn't. I could just I can see Oda going that route. Um but yeah, I mean there's there's a lot there's a lot there mm. that you're saying because what is past this? Like he's already beating Yakos now. Like you know what I'm saying? Beating he's already like doing not He beat Kaido yeah. at the end of the day. He did, but he didn't. Losers need no epitaph now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean They're calling I, him Joe Boy now, what do you mean? I'm it would it would depend, right? So like we like Sebastian said, years have been given in order for Luffy to achieve his goal. So maybe he developed some type of disease that ends his life a little bit earlier. I'm but I think up. that the only way Luffy continues to grow further and further is if he's continuously challenged and his will has to be challenged. So somebody has to match that will. Now that he's able to manipulate matter, he's able to grab lightning bolts out of the sky. His speed is ridiculous. His strength is ridiculous. He's able just to change physics overall to whatever he desires. It would have to be if I'm not even going to say I don't believe M is at that level, but I do believe that Blackbeard will be eventually. And if Blackbeard can negate or do similar things to what Luffy is doing, then I would say that Luffy gets as strong as whatever he conquers at the end and then it just stops like that's his plateau unless somebody else that's stronger comes along and then can compete with him and then push him further. So is it Zoro? It I don't think it would be Zoro because I can't picture like at this point do you believe Luffy can just turn Zoro's sword to rubber if he if he felt like it? Not Emma. I I believe. <laughs> huh? I, I do. You do, right? Mm-hmm. Well, that's because it would be a battle of willpower at that point, right. Right? right? And I would say that Luffy's willpower is stronger than Zoro's. So I would say, like, even with Kaido, right? Would you say Kaido's uh, willpower is stronger than Zoro's? I would have to. You would have to, right? Yeah. Yeah. Luffy it's more was, developed. Hold on. I'd say it's more die. developed. Like, what, what would his willpower like, be for? It? But that's what I'm, this is what I'm trying to get to. Is like Luffy was changing the physics of Kaido. And he didn't even master his, his ability within Gear 5. He was punching through his face. He was literally grabbing Kaido's chest and turning it into, like, a material that stretches. This is this is where I hate to say it, but I think that's because the of the fruit. Because when I, was, I said it, like, the one But you have to it. push your will into the fruit so, yeah. in order to execute his powers. Yeah. So that means you would have to overcome Luffy's will to not turn you into rubber. Like no, no, the yeah. fruit, the fruit basically just allows Luffy to do things, but it's yeah. like he went. Oh, I'm gonna grab this. No, no, no. What yeah, I mean yeah, yeah. is right because when we, the reason I say I say it's the fruit because I noticed, and I said it like during during that time as well. Thank you. I said at that time as well when Luffy was first turning into Joy Boy, right? We showed an old, overwhelming strength, but I noticed that he was just. He was just exploding with Conqueror's hockey. Like he was a minigame like every was, like, five seconds. Yeah, just from existing. Just like, boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. Like, I'm like, and Luffy wasn't doing that. That mm-hmm. was his. Uh, that was the fruit that was doing it. Just fair. Uh, limiting his conquerors. That's fair. I mean, it could it, again. It could be both ways because we don't know anything. Yeah, it just yeah. seemed like he couldn't control yes. what yeah. was happening. Yeah. But that's still his will yeah. pushing. Yeah. He just doesn't know how to control it's it anymore. For example, we can compare Enma to the Nika. 
fruit, right? Because Enma itself was asking Zoro to emit enough hockey for it to perform the way it wanted to perform, where he wasn't able to because he wasn't at that level yet. But the Nika fruit was like, Luffy's already at that level, so I'm just going to explode everything he has. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So that's where it comes to the degree. It's like, can he change, like... Shisui or Enma into like rubber if he so chooses. Because yeah. then you can't defeat Luffy. No, so you have to is, have a higher willpower. Was Luffy at that level? Because remember, after he stopped using the fruit, he he shriveled up to his old age. He had a severe side effect. That one time. But that's also at the end. But that's also a mastery, like right? Like how many times has he hit a gear and didn't know mm -hmm. what it could do? And yeah, then the next time he used it, he was just super proficient. With it. Like, Besides but, Gear Four, because he didn't have anything. Yeah. But I think just because you turn to rubber doesn't mean it could still not hurt Luffy because it's still coated with hockey. For Bro, instance, if, for instance, if, if I hit took... you with a rubber sword right now in the face compared to a real sword, there's I significant damage decrease. Yeah, but there's also it's still coated with hockey. Yeah, there's hockey and things. Yeah, and no, that, because bro. if I'm out hockeying you, your sword is not going to damage me the way you think it's going to. We seen for I, I don't. So, for example, right. Law versus Virgo. Virgo amplified his body structure with hockey. He was the first person we ever seen coat his entire body. But then Law, who we know has hockey as well, his hockey had to be strong enough in order to cut Virgo that his hockey would not negate Law's ability. Okay. What about, no, what about Kaido's good. mallet? Isn't it a mallet? No, it's not a mallet. It's not no, a mallet. We know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. his uh, club. I'm tripping. Yeah. His club. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it? Did it turn? Because, like, Luffy, when he got hit, right? Kaido hit him and he turned, hit to the, he hit the floor. But he he turned the floor to the rubber and then he bounced back and Kaido hit him again. Was well, he turned again, the floor to he's rubber? not controlling it, right? Because mm -hmm. Luffy was like, at one point, Kaido did hit Luffy. And what Luffy do? He manipulated his body around the, cause whatever that the club was. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. it, like he didn't try to physically turn the club into, like, rubber. Because if so, he, why wouldn't he be able to do it if he could do it to somebody that's organic? Yeah. Hmm. Well, he did turn Kaido's body into... That's what I'm saying. But, yeah. but that's the thing it's is, easier to turn something in an, an, inanimate into rubber than it is organic. But that's what I think Lionel was trying to bring up. But what if like the reason why he couldn't is because Kaido was cloaking his club with hockey and conquerors where he wasn't doing his body at the time and that's mm -hmm. why Luffy was able to do it. But we just admitted that Kaido has stronger conquerors or hockey overall than Zoro does. Yeah, but the thing is, it's different when you're admitting that, like, you're putting into that section. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you know when they hockey hard in their body, mm -hmm. right? If Lu if I see Luffy, like, someone hockey hard in their body, and I still see Luffy grab it and turn that to rubber, yeah, but we haven't seen him do that to Kaido mm -hmm. yet. Well, she, Listen, she, man. Also the shield, too. Could Listen, stop it as at well. this point, I'm always going to assume that his, ho like, Kaido's hockey is strong enough to the point where, like, he can't be, like, physically hurt by random people. At any yeah, point in time, of course, of like course. Sugar can't walk up to Kaido and just turn him into like a toy. I mean, yeah. he's not on his game. She probably could. I'm gonna say this. <laughs> well, 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 the fact is, we seen it with Law. Law wasn't able to use one of his shambles yeah. on Big Mom or Kaido because their hockey was just too strong, and they weren't trying. Kaido wasn't in hybrid form. Big Mom wasn't sitting on, you know, her cloud or had, you know, anything like that. And they were just chilling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Law couldn't cut them in half either. He like he had to do like advanced techniques to actually hurt them. Hey, I mean, teach to answer your question. There's no limit to what we can to, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> to how far Luffy can go. Yeah, but um, so he dies. What you mean? <laughs> but anyway, that would be the limit. <laughs> thank you so much I for calling, Big Mom. It's a rematch. That's all that matters. Hell, hell, no. hell, hell yeah! yeah. Hell, hell, hell yeah! Hell no! Yo, she got Big this so Cause dirty. Cause I, I, I cannot stand to see her like this. This that was just painful. Yo, I was like, it was bad. We got them all awaken their devil fruits. And you ain't do nothing. We got like, yo. All yo. you did was get big. You went from <laughs> yeah. obese to and he, like I, I'll really say obese. like it just like bro, she sacrificed parts of her life. Yo, but what she capable still... of is already fake, bro. Like how much more are you trying to give her, bro? Bro, she but this is the thing. <laughs> she has all that but did nothing. Yeah. Yeah, is no. the, is the main, she didn't I, live up to the hike of Bianca as, that we believed her she should have been at. As the cast resident Big Mom hater, <laughs> she she got done dirty, but she deserved that. So I'm glad matter. you said that on camera, she bro. Because now we got proof, bro. She did. She still. So when you trolling and shit in the discourse, she, now I'm gonna bring this up, listen, bro. My, my points have I'm always been this. the same. <laughs> I'm gifting. My it, points bro. have always been the same. <laughs> I'm gifting. She's it. just still weaker than the others. It's though. a gift to you. We don't know that. We don't know if she truly is or not. 
Thank you for coming. <laughs> <for the show. laughs> we don't know that. that she be Whitebeard, Shanks, and Kaido. I- I'm waiting to see like for where this comes to like pass. Yeah. I don't know, man. We'll see, man. But anyway, Teach, thank you so much thank for the you, calls. Man. We gotta hit these super chats, man. I don't want to let them wait too much longer. <laughs> thank oh, you for yeah. that. Thank, thank you for getting us hyped, though. I'm yeah. so happy I found people that passionately like one piece like I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that, man. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, great to have you. Great <laughs> to have you. Appreciate stay it, in man. that Discord, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, they donated. Let's donate. go. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank we, you. So thank I removed you. the. Don't take calls right now. Let me do the super chats real quick. Thank you. Super chats. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Call back. Call back. One second. One second. <laughs> uh, we got a five dollars super chat from our boy Captain J Subs. It says Buggy is gonna be the next Pirate King. <laughs> yes, sir. Yo, if Oda, he's the ultimate troll. He the Listen, ultimate troll. Like, Listen, oh. watch out for a theory video from me coming out soon. <laughs> Shout buddy. out to Void for helping me with the thumbnail already. Y'all can check it out. It's in the Discord. Just know. Buggy top one, yo. All right, so we're gonna move past or no? <laughs> Luffy about to fight Buggy for Pirate King, yo. Real hey, Lou, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I would vote for Buggy. Anyway, uh, but thank you so much, Jay. Um, we got another five dollar super chat from Lucas Nunez. It says, Y'all doing an episode for Road to Laugh Tale? I don't think so. There's not enough information. It was just a rehash of information, and then it let us know about Rocks and his actual name. Did y'all see Road to Laugh? Did y'all, did y'all read that? Y'all, I saw a little bit on Discord. I, well, basically, it, yeah. they just they just named rocks being uh, Roger's greatest rival of all time. Like they, said, they said, they said Larry, Larry, Larry took it though. No, 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 Larry no. They're saying like officially, like okay. he's the greatest and strongest rival he's ever faced. Okay. And then his new name is the Taboo, uh, rocks the Taboo Zebek. So you know how like. Uh, Kaido, what's Kaido's name? Or Hunter Beast Kaido. Yeah. Oh, that's his yeah. epitaph. So yeah, his epitaph is the taboo. That's actually a fire name. Yeah. All right, and then that's about it. But it didn't do it much else. Are there more series of that coming out? I don't. Yeah, know. Yeah, that was part yeah. one. So there, there might be more. We'll, we'll probably touch on it when people ask us. But yeah, let's get more calls. Man. Uh, we got a uh, another five dollar super chat from Eric Sargent. Yo, Eric. <laughs> Eric, man. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> Thank man. you. Man. Oh man, he says I feel like Blackbridge Fruit is going to be the Moon God sort of thing. Government has been keeping its name in true power. Low key could be true. Could be very true. Yeah, we got to call and, the yeah yeah, yeah. The, the god and his uh them thing because yeah. I do because they mostly sh- um like sh- um foreshadow Blackbeard with the moon and Luffy over the sun so it's mm-hmm. obviously kind of like foreshadowing something. And All you right. can't sleep. Could be. All yeah. right. We got to attend out. Thank you so much again, uh, Eric. Keep donating, man. Wow. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we got a ten dollars super chat from Three Day Trip. Three Day, thank you so much. Uh, it says Kid... Three Day actually comes from Par Vision's Discord. Does oh, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I see him Great in the Discord all the time now. So, nice. yeah. um, it says Kid uses a lot of attacks named Punk. Do you think he is somehow connected to Vega Punk or Punk Hazard? And does it relate to his Devil Fruit? Love the show. Um, I, th- I think it's just because he a punk. Yeah, I think cause it, mostly because he's like, like a rocker. Like, he's based off a rock person. That's true, too, yeah. I think so punk like, rock and stuff. His crew's made out of, like, a band. Yeah. 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 It is interesting that a lot of rung out, too. Kid, uh, when he was a kid, mm-hmm. he used to play with, like, uh, what was it, robots or yeah. Game of Thrones. So he's into that type of uh, building thing. Like, like metal. Yeah. yeah. Like, but, like, he's a metal rock band. Metal yeah. rock yeah. band. Yeah. Yeah. But I know, but you know how Frankie was into the building stuff like that, and he was like, he knew who Vegapunk was? Mm-hmm. Maybe Kid, something similar, but just he just wasn't skilled at it. <laughs> I've learned in my travels... Not to get your hopes up regarding kids. So, <laughs> yeah, nah. <laughs> He's not related to Big Punk. And then anyway. the next one. Is, and we uh, got one last super chat yes. from Captain J Subs, two dollars. It says, "Larry, stop hating." <laughs> I can't, man. Best super All I do is hate. Of the day. <laughs> All right, let's put up that number again. Uh, Sorry, whoever called, do you remember the number, Steve? Whoever called. Do you remember? All right, if that person calls, pick it up for that person Larry, first. The Priority. I don't have it. Uh, I do not have the number. Do you have the number, Steve? You post it. No, no, no. No, no, no. The... Uh, somebody's calling now. All right. This is that One Piece talk. Larry speaking. Who are you and how are you? Hey, it's Nerdtaku. Hey, hey Nerdtaku. Hey, what's, what's up, man? What's up, man? How are hey, you? Hey, what's going on? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, 
That's what's just up. a little under the weather, just a little sick, but uh, I'm doing good. Yo, do yeah, some yeah. push-ups, bro. Push it out. <laughs> sweat. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll just go sweat it out in the sauna or something. <laughs> what's up, man? What's your question? All right, so uh, <laughs> I've been wanting to ask this question for a while, but I always felt like it would take too much time, but now we got a lot of time, so <laughs> that's why I was uh, kind of admin that I was hoping that you guys would do a whole show of calls. Uh-huh. Uh, so my question is, is there anything that you would change about One Piece to change the story in just a way, almost to make it like a One Piece what if? And what do you think the repercussions of that change in the story would be? Um, for me, I think I said it last night on Twitch. Um, I forgot who asked, but I think it was Scooter. Um he asked the same kind of question. Are you Scooter Nertaku? No, right? No. All right. No, I'm he, not. It's so wild. He asked the same question on Twitch. Um, I said Shanks being uh, slightly evil. And, hmm. and this, is, this is why I say it, right? So from what Ray Lee said was that we didn't understand. You, you wouldn't have the same understanding as him and the Roger Pirates when they discovered One Piece. So if he told you right now, what would you do after you learned what it was? So me and Parvision were talking that Vanderdecken, the first OG Vanderdecken, not the one that we met at Fishman Island, there is a, a song that Brooke announced that um, basically he might have discovered One Piece and went mad from that and killed his crew and cursed the gods, which would be like the Celestial Dragons. If you guys haven't watched... Uh, Parvision's video about Vanderdecken and that role. I would suggest looking at his videos and you'll find it. I forgot exactly which video it's um, thumbnail does. Par, if you can, just put it in the chat, the link. But basically, if we brought that same understanding, right, that Rayleigh said, and the understanding, speculated understanding of what Vanderdecken went through, we can now come to a general consensus that whatever One Piece is, you'll understand the world differently from others. So when Roger came back and he went to go visit Shanks and Buggy, Roger was said to have said something, Odin said, to Shanks, Shanks Taro. And then Shanks ended up crying. So it would be crazy to see that maybe Shanks has dealt with a certain degree of stress his entire life. Like the weight of the world has been on his shoulders his entire life. And he's kind of groomed Luffy to actually take him out or he has like some hidden agenda where he's like working with the government but he's also trying to keep people from discovering the one piece or keeping people from or you know he's trying to do something but it turns out the world is twisted inside his own mind so we get into the psychological effect of what shanks has been dealing with his whole life and what he's actually trying to do so he ends up becoming an obstacle to luffy in a way luffy has to kind of beat him down take him out in a way and instead of it being blackbeard who we probably all thought it would be it would probably be luffy so i think that would be a nice twist to shanks's character because it would make him a little bit more relevant but also a little bit more dangerous than we always thought and this would explain probably why he's never in the show it's because if we ever got a glimpse of that psychological um defect i guess you could call it at this point right in his mind it would let too much of the story out and goal wise that's just my my thought, Ooh. but it's. Can I say something? It's interesting because I said this to Lionel, because I noticed this right, that you notice how Shanks right in the beginning he had you know the rubber rubber uh, on his ship, then Luffy mm. ate it, mm. and I noticed one thing. You know how the government wanted to, uh, they found out that somehow they found out that Luffy, um, might be I guess the Nika fruit, and they wanted to kill Luffy, right? Mm. But right before they found out, to add to your theory, because I, I was talking a lot about it, it's interesting. Shanks meets with the girl, say. Mm. And he says, I want to talk to you about a certain pirate. Never says who or what he was talking about. But surely, and that was right before the reverie or during the reverie. Mm. Shanks talks to the girl, say. And then later, shortly after that, they find out that Luffy's that and want to kill Luffy. So I was like, yo, Lionel, imagine Shanks told the girl, say, that Luffy has the, the sun god ability. 
possible. Because like they never knew who they, would, they didn't would, know that Luffy ate it. They just know that Shanks Shanks took it and then he they don't know what he did with it. He's like, no, Luffy's actually the one that ate it from my ship. So he has that ability that you guys have been looking for. Like, what if he told the girl? It that? would clear up a little bit of that plot hole that we've been talking about that they knew this whole time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like if they just they didn't know if it was that specific devil fruit or nothing. They just were tele like transporting a fruit from one spot to another, and Shanks did this. But that's an interesting one. Shanks being evil or slightly evil. I mean, that's just opinion. my thought of what um, I want to change. But like, obviously, my, uh, my, my change. I have a couple in my head, and sure. they're not as. That's like game changing. Yeah. There. Yeah. Oh, after Sebastian nerd, I want you to go, and then we'll go with Lawrence and Lionel. Yeah, uh, mine is something that Sham said in the um, and I, I think it's going to be something you guys also agree to. Um, is bounty hunters just being more prevalent in the series? Oh yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bounty we got hunters bounties, should, and there's just, we got these massive no bounties, reason. and they don't mean anything. <laughs> bounty hunters and more swordsmen are trying to become the world's greatest swordsman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and, and uh, obviously, I, I kept people dying. No more fake deaths. <laughs> <laughs> Remove every fake death from, and just have the person die. Sebastian's We're like, good. just take Pell out. <laughs> oh my god, that was out, the first bro. thing I thought. Yeah. I was like, yo, Pell, bro, no. But that's so minor. Yeah, but yeah. that's you. All right, nerd. What about you, bro? Okay, so mine's a little crazy, and I think that Sebastian's not gonna like it now that he said that <laughs> he's cool. He wants way more death. Um, oh God, it's, it's Ace, isn't it? I I would cho- I would choose Ace, but I would choose that. Uh, and this is this is a little intense, but I would choose the Garp dodged in front of Ace and Luffy and got murdered by a Kainu in front of everybody. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Nah. That's wild. That would have broke my Garp. heart. Yo, bro, I'm going to be real. That would have been awesome. That I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. Awesome, that would have been <laughs> wild, bro. It would have been bad writing, I think, but it would have been dope. The- I think the reason it would have been so great is because of the fact that the whole time he was struggling whether he should put his, you know, sense of yeah. justice first mm, or his family. Like, Hell yeah! Not and bad. to it's like, not that bad, you know, even when he, even when he was fighting, you know, went after Luffy, you know, he he was so much turmoil inside of him just from fighting his own grandson, let alone the kid that he, you know, was raising. You know, that's Rogers and everything. And I think it would have been really great because I think at that moment, Sen Goku would have like told them to cut off the cameras because it was projected to the whole world. So that way they could cover it up. So it doesn't look like a Marine killed another Marine in combat. Mm-hmm. And it wouldn't like, it wouldn't distract from Garp's name being like the great hero because he actually saved pirates and he saved even Roger's son. And then like, what I would have done after that was I would have had Whitebeard die the way he did. And then I would have had the Whitebeard pirates fall under Ace because he's inheriting uh, Whitebeard's will. And then at, after all the turmoil and everything that would have went through, because, you know, Luffy would have still had his breakdown moment because he just watched his grand, you know, his granddad die in front of him. And then I think Rayleigh would have trained Ace and Luffy to be able to enter the new world together. I love this. I love it. This would have been dope. But you know what I was thinking when you first asked the question? If Garp actually took out a kind of, and then Garp got charged with murder and the whole world saw him become actually opposite of what the government has always pretended he was to everybody else in the world. Like he was like kind of like their mascot. And then if he kills a kind of right then and there, he gets punished and probably executed. That would have been crazy too, but I love the Garp aspect of the war because I feel like that was always a more missed opportunity overall. And like Ace, I always felt like Ace wasn't the only route you could have went with, even though Sebastian's like, yo, 100%. But I'm like, yo, Garp was there too. Like we had a what if series, right? That was actually his actual family. Yeah. Like that's his father. Yeah. But that's a good one. I like that one, nerd. Lionel, you got to comment. That was good. Give your your take. I have so yeah. many things to what, say. What what I thought what I thought would have been even more like because I mean these repercussions would have you know obviously went throughout the whole entire world, mm-hmm. and then what would have made more sense to me is if once Law and Luffy formed this alliance and whatever, if when they uh, they would have been able to catch up with Ace at some point while gathering all these people, and because he would have been having the whole entire remnants of the Whitebeard Pirates under him as almost like a, 
because he, I mean, he had a bounty under him, but once he fell under Whitebeard, he was kind of swept under the rug. He wasn't really like a big threat to the world government, but now that he would have been captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, and then if they would have went to take Wano the way they did, it would have been way fucking cooler to me personally. <laughs> if, uh, if we would have had Ace on the rooftop with him, and Ace and him were to fight Kaido, and then it would make way more sense to me that Kaido would get taken out by Luffy and Ace than just Luffy alone. Uh, again, I thought that would be... And then we get Sabo not being an, a copy of <sighs> oh, what man. Ace is. There, there's, like, so many elements that would be missed with this, though. Like, Blackbeard... Like, yeah, ignore the Blackbeard yeah. element of this. No, Blackbeard would still get away with everything he got. Okay, if Blackbeard shows up on Marine yeah, Ford and Ace taken is alive, Whitebeard's fruit. no, Blackbeard shows up on Marine Ford and Ace is alive. If Whitebeard, there's no way in hell y'all can convince me he's not going right after Blackbeard. There's no way. He, like y'all, y'all don't be real. Like Ace was a tragic character for a reason. You get what I'm saying? Like the way he processes things in his head, the way he reacts to things, he was gonna die, bro. Like this is just what it is. He like there's no way Blackbeard becomes Yonko and it's just on the sea and Ace has the entire Whitebeard remnants on his back and they're not going after Blackbeard and he's not ending up dead in the same way anyway. Like because he's not gonna turn back and run. Mm. Like that's his character. That's what he is. So y'all have to like y'all basically have to make it so like Sengoku takes Blackbeard out now. Like you get what I mean? Like there's no way that Ace and Blackbeard can coexist in this new One Piece. And that that's one of like what? several things that I had. Uh, about this, and again, that was it was dope. The, the Garp aspect yeah. is dope, and it would fulfill a piece of it. But the biggest thing that hit home was Luffy was fighting as hard as he was for a specific goal, and it was to save Ace. And the fact that he was too weak to accomplish it, even after he sacrificed and did all that stuff, is a part of why it's so memorable, a part of why it hit home so hard. Garp substituting for Ace dying. It's like, that'll hit Ace, but we're reading the story for Luffy. I can see that hit Luffy too, but you get what I mean? You get what I mean? Like, Ace is going to be like, oh my God. Like, you know? But like, we're not reading the story to get Ace to where he needs to go. Mm. We're reading the story to get Luffy where he needs to go. And I like the whole Ace is a a Joy Boy candidate combatant for Luffy for the title of Pirate King. But like, ultimately, that's not what Ace's story was about. And it's not, like, I get learning more about his dad and stuff, but like, that's not what his story was about. You know, it's just but, not. But that's the point where he's talking about rewriting. Like, what would you like? You'd what have if to story? rewrite a lot. No, you know, right? A lot, are you a like, lot. Are you? Can I go? Lot of number one. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was. Um, I thought of two things. One, I'm not gonna say the other one because that one just like, it changes the whole story completely. But um, the other one I just probably thought of um, pretty much. Monosuke doesn't get Monosuke, bro. Mono, Mono, Monosuke. <laughs> yeah, twins. <laughs> yeah. Mononosuke doesn't get sent twenty years to the future. He actually He um, lives through it. Oh man, that'd have been great. I would say he lives through it. Like he he lives through it, but I also say that like, Kaido's kid gonna try to kill Mononosuke. So um so I'm thinking of he kinda like in a way that's why I already first said something about Samurai Jack. Like the whole he yes, trains. Yes. And his Jack whole thing trains. Home. And your model with him? Like what? Oh becomes what? <laughs> <laughs> he just trains like you know because like it, I thought of the story of um Mono, Mononosuke is actually a little just similar to Samurai Jack He's but not fully say Momo. <laughs> but um similar and I thought that would be a really cool like you know intake like Mononosuke realizes like he needs to train and become like his father and um get stronger and he just goes around you know he travels to a degree to One Piece world through 20 years and trains to beat you know yo you know what's Kaido. crazy Lawrence he brings that up that would kind of be what like Ryuma was doing, right? So he becomes sort of like a Ryuma type character. Yeah, he could become greater but than this his is father. the only thing though. Lionel's rewriting uh, Mom- Momo's like uh, personality too, because like, would he need the scabbards at that point? Yeah, he has to yeah. grow. He has to grow and become a warrior. Yeah, because yeah. he's kind of like a coward at this point. But he's a kid, so it's not but really. A coward. We, we would be seeing a completely different. Yeah, Momo. a completely different Momo. So like. But would the scabbers he be would, needed that? He would be Gohan, no. like future Gohan no. with the one arm. He would still be. That's cool. what he, he would, would be. Still, he would still be with Kidamon though, because Kidamon was like none of them get sent to the future. No, they all stay. I said Monosuke. J- only. Yeah. What was the point of Kidamon getting sent if Momo's not with him? 
I don't know. I don't, honestly, I, don't, <laughs> honestly, I never really understood like why they got sent to the future in the first place. So he wouldn't why? die. So they wouldn't die. <laughs> kind of. I'm confused. I get you, but there's so many people who were the scabbards and who didn't they were, die. They were the ones that were right there, bro. She, she couldn't only send so many of them. Yeah. And two, they needed to make sure Momo didn't die here. Yeah. But the thing is, and the 20 year prophecy. But, like, there's a lot, no, but, but there's a lot of people who, like, the Daimo was still alive. Odin's father was still alive. Ashra no, was still alive. Him. Sukiyaki was only alive because he was trapped in a basement and yeah, nobody, nobody knew, knew he was that. down yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, they knew him. He they was pri- just a, he they was imprisoned him. Yeah, but they forgot about him. I mean, they assumed he was dead, bro. Yeah. But it's like, oh, he dead. But. No, but I love the Samurai Jack aspect yeah, of Samurai, Momo. Yeah. Being, Samurai Jack's awesome. Like, developing himself through that. So that would have been cool. Also, he gets trapped in time travel, I guess. I don't know. That's stupid. But that Kaido been cool. becomes Kaku. Back to the oh, yeah. What's his name? Uh, Haiku. Yeah. Haiku. 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 Yeah. Haiku. Wait, Lawrence, you went, right? Uh, no, no, you didn't. Uh, go real quick. All right, I'm going to go real quick. But to me, this changes the entire thing of One Piece. But I just thought it was dope for the, the Jorba aspect. All right? I'm going to take Luffy, uh, Sabo, Ace, Kid, and Law. Right? Take them, but have them all, like, in a way, you all see their own story coming up. Like they're all like the main character. Okay. So you all see just so you see how Luffy coming up, you see how all of them coming up to their own story. They're all, they're all living pirately. Sabo's also on the revolutionary. He gets his memories later on. You keep like all going at the tragic what Law went through, going on all that kid went through, right? And you have the title of Joy Boy. So you Jordan is like you don't really have the idea of like so it's not just focused on Luffy. It's focused on all of them, right? And the whole you write it as which one of these people is Joy Boy. So it's like the anticipation of like who's gonna be Joy Boy and like. Pick your favorite. I, I want this person. I think Sabo's gonna. I like Sabo. He's gonna be joy boy. No, I want Ace. I want well, Luffy. I Lawrence want. Lawrence asking for three thousand chapters. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's, there's no way. To write but it'll be that. interesting there's that no way. way. It'll be interesting that, that way. You know, bro. because it's like the whole thing is like, yo, who's gonna be it? Who's gonna be it? And then you, because they all have such great stories going through. Lawrence, like, they all have to have like a, a yeah. Ace's death moment. Like all five of them. No. I think I think it's I think it's no you over, drag it over encumbered bro. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, nah, I think you yeah, can write it sure. away like no habit has early, as Luffy introduced to it now. Don't have it that early. I think what you're looking for is you don't want the straight, uh, you don't want the obvious answer that it's Luffy. Yeah, you would have liked to have it in yeah. various the, the ways is, of not knowing what's what. But you're still gonna get the obvious hand. Look, we have this in worst where they tell us they show us a Machi, Mitsumasa, Hana, and Shugo. But we all knew it was still Hana. No, no, you know no, 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 no. That's because we saw Hana's anyway. Hana was the main character in worse. But like Luffy's still gonna be the no, main no, character. No, 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 Fist is more, no, Fist is more. Think mm-hmm. of it this way, but like a different way. But like uh, different, like um, you d- Game of Thrones. What? Okay. You get what I'm saying? Okay. What 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 Lawrence wants is Gantz. No, <laughs> that's what he wants. Like, you look, but, you're never gonna. You, you're missing out on like the money potential of Luffy. Yeah. Like, bro, he's Mickey. Like Larry always says he's Mickey Mouse. No, see, he's Japanese Mickey Mouse. You're so, not gonna get five of that. I know. See how I also thought is like you all come out with like for example, different. They all anyway. You do it this way. Luffy is one piece, right? You have his own story. That's one, but you have other mangas coming yeah. out, and then later on you fuse them all. <laughs> so you want the One Piece. MCU? Bro. Yes. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, right. pretty much. Anyway, <laughs> nerd talk you're much. still there, right, nerd? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I do have to say I do have to say one thing though to what Sebastian said. I think uh, personally, I think that Luffy and uh, Garp's relationship is obviously very you know, conflicted um, with him just like being a terrible grandpa and just like throwing him into the woods for like weeks at a time and kind of ignoring him. Yeah. But I think they are really close as a family. And I think that losing his grandpa to his own weakness, because, I mean, he was fighting from Impel Down all the way to Marine Ford. He had to have, like, Ivankov give him injections that, like, just to keep him going. And I think, you know, uh, Ivankov said it even during, uh, right after Ace died. He said his body has been under such stress mentally and uh, physically that losing his grandpa would still have that like mind breaking moment. And he would like get all the flashbacks of, you know, growing up with him and everything like that. And I think it would have almost the same effect. And I think that maybe if, uh, 
there would be a chance for the Whitebeard Pirates to grab Ace and try and take him while he's going through something similar because he was tortured and impelled down and he was, you know, beaten up by, you know, Sengoku on the way down and, and everything that goes into that. I think that if they could get them both out, I think that him losing Whitebeard would be the thing that would trigger him to want to be better. And then Rayleigh uh, would see that he finally gets to meet Roger's son and train both Luffy and him to eventually get to the point where Ace is finally coming back to Wano years later to, to do exactly what he said, you know? And I feel like Ace living and being the one to actually get to do those things that he promised, it's great that Luffy's doing it, but to me, I think the payback would be so much more intense and I feel like maybe more emotional if Ace was the one to finally do it. He finally meets, you know, gets to Otama and, you know, sees her again for the first time, sees what kind of condition she's in because of like all the poison, him getting really pissed off at that. And then continuing to like saving, uh, uh, saving Yamato and doing all the things that he said he was going to do finally and fulfilling the things, you know, and having that be with Luffy would, I think, be all the sweeter, especially because he took the second commander position, which was Odin's before yeah. that, and he's able to do what Odin needed to do, too. So it would be kind of like a really cool, uh, I don't know. I feel like it would be very fulfilling, I, and it I would feel, feel you. good I to I feel watch. you on everything that you just said. You will never convince me. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever in life that Ace should be alive. But, but then Ever. But also then then Marco would actually be relevant. Oh, too. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Shots. Yeah. Marco yeah. catching straight. <laughs> Listen. I, I feel you. I just I will. I'm one of those people that think that that was the best writing decision Otis made. So like it's I'm I'm like steadfast with that. So like I've had this debate with them several times. It's just not happening, bro. And again, the black beard of it all. We, I think we have to take another call, but thank you so much for getting us out here yeah. heated, man. Taku, I see you in yeah, the chat. Of course. We, we can debate it in the Discord, bro. I'm going to break you down. All right. <laughs> all right. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Thank you, nerd. See you why, later, man. Why Marco catch that straight, right. though? We'll he just, he deserves you, every bullet. <laughs> I think we got time for one more call. So, last call, guys. Whoever gets through, lucky as F. <laughs> hey, what's going on? This is Larry from That One Piece Talk. Who are you, and how are you? Hello? Hello? Hey, hey this is uh, Lou. Lou? Lou? Lou or Lou? Lou. Yeah, I'm fairly new. I like. I followed you guys on uh, TikTok, and then from there, you know, I've just been engaged, kind of. Oh, okay. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, thank, you. Well, yeah. thank you for following us yeah. and coming through. And how are you, man? I'm good. I'm good. First of all, congratulations. Happy anniversary to you guys. Hey, 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 arigato, arigato. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you, Luke. Yeah. What's thank up, man? Garp's a hoe. Garp is a hoe. <laughs> and, and letting my grandkids, you know what I'm saying? Bro. <laughs> That's what you call him to say, bro. <laughs> I, I I'm just saying, Ace was entrusted to me by a friend. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking out for. Say you watching somebody else's kid and you let him die. <laughs> yeah. 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 That is true. Come on, man. He <laughs> you know lived. What? He lived like 20 plus years, man. <laughs> Come on. That's cool, but but secondly, like you are like, he see what the world government is doing, like firsthand. He's an admiral. Like you see all this, so why are you conflicted? <laughs> sure. Like, how are you... Yeah, fair point. With he that. do got a point, man. But he believes in this though. Like yeah, yeah, y'all be y'all be he seeing in what? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> y'all get so distracted by the fact that like Luffy's a good person, yeah. right? Most pirates in One Piece are pieces of trash. They do terrible that's, things that's on a true. daily that's, basis. Yeah. Garp has seen that since he was a kid, probably. Yeah. And he's Taking I mean, a stance yeah, that's, against that's true, it. but then again, like, we're not even going to just focus on Luffy. I Granted, One Piece is about him, whatever. No. <laughs> like, there are other pirates who Luffy has ran into, and you know what I'm saying? Like, they're somewhat decent humans. 
Like, oh, come on now. You I, I, go watch it. I agree. Let's go back Listen, to that. I agree. I guess, I'm just saying. I guess he's saying that like, uh, is the world government really any better? Because all the stuff that they yeah, were doing, that's, like, that's fair. These really are fair than, takes. These yeah, are fair takes. Yeah. But you can't be like, like, yo, the... you let his kid die. Well, it's like, bro, how much happened? Like, it's not like, like he raised the kid, so and so, whatever. Well, like, we twenty I years mean, later, bro. <laughs> I mean, we really didn't see like Ace's feet, but we know, like, you know, what I'm saying he was trying to, you know, kill Black uh, Blackbeard because of what he did. Mm. Like, that's kind of justifiable. Like, yo, you killed your homie? I'm about to off you. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, Ace was a good guy. Like, he ain't have to die. Stark's still a hoe. I said no. You're not going to convince this me otherwise. This is wild, man. <laughs> Stark's a hoe, man. I, listen. I mean, yes, he's the Navy's hero. He went back and forth with Roger, this, that, and the third. That's cool. his godparents to a high standard, bro? Yeah. This listen, is wild. Listen, thank <laughs> This is what they need to tell Gart. Thank you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> you said Gart need to be handled the retirement pack. <laughs> Man, give him the whole package, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but I just kind of want to backtrack on what you guys were talking about. Like, who's going to be, like, Luffy's next, uh, I guess, nemesis or thing like that. Mm-hmm. I haven't really, like, started the manga, but I am, like, watching the anime i'm re-watching it i'm already caught up but i'm re-watching it as well because i've seen his tiktok it was like oda likes to drop like foreshadowing and stuff like that mm-hmm. um i think i'm on like i'm just past enos lobby okay so one of the so one of the cp9 members uh he it looked like he was from wano the guy with the hair like the pink hair i'm not really familiar with his name um the yo 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 okay yeah. but anyways i think it's gonna be kobe like, I left a comment. I probably should have super uh, chatted it mm. so you guys can get it. But I think uh, his nemesis is going to be Kobe, like, next on. Because you already see, like, his aspirations is to be an admiral, is to be, like, the pretty much Marine. Luffy's friend, but also, like, strong. And Luffy helped him realize that. But I kind of want it to be, like, a borrow to like, spin off, kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Even though this is, like, coming to an end, you can still get more out of it. Like, if you do, like, the opposite side, like from the Navy point of view. That would be dope. Like, yeah. Yeah, that would be super like, dope. So, so th- like, even the, I'm sorry, go ahead. So there was three things I was going to say. One, if you want to look at foreshadows and look at more stuff regarding that, check out Parvision's uh, channel because he, he dives a lot into previous things that in previous chapters and brings them to light. So it makes his own right. like consensus of thought on it. So that's perfect. Two, the the whole Kobe being the end game opponent was actually speculated with Emu and Blackbeard as well because of what he said and also he was in chapter I believe two or or one he was, in, cha- was in chapter one he was yeah. in chapter one and he also made Luffy like kind of like a a promise that he would become the greatest Marine also three yeah the, the, and capture him yeah the the three I've always wanted a Marine movie. Like, show me something from the Marine side. I thought that that's the Bro. one thing that One Piece lacks. It's like the side of the Marines and what they go through. They always, they're they always shown as the enemy. But if you showed the inside we, workings, bro, it would be legendary. We see what they go through. They kill an innocent people. <laughs> <laughs> they kill bro, it. They, it, bro. But they, we got to see they, why. First of all, all right. So, so if you want to, if you want to go, like, I mean, that angle is interesting and I did propose it. But again, bro, they blew up Robin's homeland. Yeah. Those people didn't do anything. Except read. They, they had reading, a bunch man. <laughs> Who taught you octagon? Bro, you, that, who taught you how to read? Book. <laughs> but that was most yeah, but the burden of books is like a, a, a trope that's like, 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 yeah. it's like a thing in real life and in general. Now it's that a has thing happened that people, in real life. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, but still, nobody needs to read. They don't need no <laughs> yeah, That's mostly the word government. Yeah, I don't know about Not that. the, the Marines. Yeah. yeah. Hey, they just, they're I mean, but they dogs. but they're the force behind the Marines. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I know Akino. Akino's so, out here burning ships. He's a marine, so. Bro, Akino. Wait, which one's the uh, the guy with the ice? Akiyoji. 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 Yeah. Yeah, he's the goat. I don't care what nobody say. He realized people messing up, and you know he did what he had to do. He didn't like, do <laughs> He killed someone. And then also, I never like I never really noticed that he was literally watching over Robin, like. 
To a degree. That yeah, was yeah, crazy. Yeah. To a certain degree. Not saying, I like, think he's still doing Garth, it okay. You know, yeah. watch Ace die. Mm -hmm. You know, if oh, he, he protected Robin and let her live. <laughs> this is all thing. just to throw more shade at Garth. Yeah, I should have right? known. Yes, I, I went known. full circle. Oh, my I went God. full circle. All right, man. That's, but that's, yeah, man. that's our time, man. We got we to gotta wrap this show up. But thank you so much for the call. Of course. Nice talk to you guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Call again. again. Call again. Thank you, Lou. Harp the ho. Uh, we did get one last super chat from Reminisce with Quinlan. It says Luffy defeated Bullet and the Kaido the same way. I'm sick of the ending of these fights. Damn. Listen, Hard man. Reminisce ain't 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 too far from what I feel too, bro. That's real. I, that's that there he goes right there. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the show, guys. Thank you for joining us. If you haven't liked the video, please like the video. If it's your first time being here, please subscribe. I know a lot of people listen to us uh, audio only, and you guys do watch a lot of the streams after. So I just want to give a big shout out to you for always making us feel welcomed and for always saying nice, nice compliments that we recently got. Uh, a lot of, uh, I think two people recently have said, like, uh, they're going through hard times. Listening to us makes them get through that. And I just want to say that's probably every compliment we get that's really beautiful. I think that's probably one of the best compliments we've received. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. If you're not in our Discord, please jump in our Discord. In the description of this video below, you will see every single link that you can click on to join us or do anything for. So everything's there. Just click on it. But other than that, I just want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for you. Thank you for you again. And Nakama for life. My hey. name is Larry. Lawrence. Lionel. Seb. And this is that One Piece talk. Jenna. Catch you guys Jenna. later. <laughs> See you. Outro.